Alrighty, so welcome back to yet another Digimon stream there, folks. I am taking a break from some Resident Evil. I've been playing that a little bit hard the last few streams, and figured it was time to get back to doing some more Digimon, get some uh, videos of that up and running. We don't need to worry about uh, getting the game back to my friend anymore, as I've already sent him his copy back and ended up purchasing my own, because this game is fun, I do enjoy it, and it's probably something that I'll play in um, like my own time to fully platinum. I still actually need to platinum the first one. Could I redo that? But yeah, otherwise, let's get back into this. I honestly have no clue where the fuck we were. So I'm gonna have to double check that and figure out what it is we're doing. Ah! We're going right into a cutscene. That works for me. <coughs> this ain't no Digimon battle. What are you guys doing? Stop! We give up! Please! I forgot that Ryuji has a bit of a mind control thing going on at the moment. Or what appears to be somewhat mind controlled. My program. My brand. Oh, he's digivolved. Hmm. Yeah, he's got a bit of an aura. Yeah, that's right, you yell for him, or mug. Yuji took off. It looks like he's getting worse. Uh oh. Looks that way. Oh, a face here. He's been hunting hackers left and right. Zaxons, demons, he doesn't care who they are. At first I thought Yuji was starting a war. But it looks like it's all that weirdo. Yuji's been acting crazy ever since we lost uh, Chitose. And he didn't have that Digimon either. Chitose Imai. Another victim from under zero, huh? I want you to help us. We can't let him keep running wild all over Eden. I'm guessing you've got your own reasons too. Well, yeah, he's Ryuji. We gotta kinda save him as much as he's a bit of a prick. But he's a prick in a good way. Capturing him won't be easy. We'll need a detailed plan. We'll contact you again. Wait at your shop. Or, you know, I could just... Fight him? I'm sure I could probably take Ryuji. Maybe. Potentially. <coughs> Ooh, there's an item in front of me. I haven't checked the board lately. Oh, and then we get an achievement because we technically just finished the other uh, chapter. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll check it uh, out. I haven't checked the board lately. I'll see what the PC's got. No, I want this. What is this? Ooh, Yuni memory number five. Also, we have five messages. Really? Uh, oh, it's been so long. Where is that under? Digiline. Quiz time. Which of the following is the lowest level? Oh, it's giving me Digimon. Uh, Randomon's a rookie. Godomon is a champion. Icemon is a champion. I think it's Randomon. I do believe Randomon's the lowest level of all them. Uh, lots has changed in the real world, but the confusion is spread into Eden too. Well, that, yeah, it's kind of what happens when you have a real world and a digital world that are pretty much the same in today's society. Uh, <clears throat> I've asked so much. My brother, Hudi, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it, Erica. Uh, yeah. Don't don't apologize. It, it shit happens. Don't worry about it. Uh, the teacher's in her room to avoid going out. I hope there are no monsters. Stay home. Oh, yeah. We're at the point in the game where the two worlds have actually combined into one. It's not just the fact that society is using the digital world anymore. It's that we are the digital world. Or we're starting to combine, I should say. Alrighty. Uh, so we're just doing random missions at the moment, then? I think. I think, I think, I think. On the BBS, yeah, five new cases. So we've got nothing but three stars. So we've got the Fey one. Oh no, it's just a territory capture. Uh, Spear Fox and Girl, Gluttonous Case. Let's see what they give us. Money, hacker points. Oops. Uh, money, hacker points. More money and hacker. Ooh, but it's given to us by uh, Belzimon. I want Belzimon. Oh wait, we get a farmer exp uh, expansion plugin for this one. Ooh, probably have to do that. Oh, there's a farm development kit though. Ooh, this is probably the most complicated UI you've ever seen. Ah, uh, yeah, it's, it's 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 a little weird. It's what happens when the game is built around hackers. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay, we're gonna do these two first because. Getting an extra farm as well as a development kit. I always forget which one's which, whether it's the... I think the development kit upgrades the farm, and the expansion plug gives me another one. So let's do this one first.
Bill's mod, I'll contact him and see what the details show. Alrighty, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, so you're the hacker who took my case. Oh my god, I fucking love Belzimon. I want him so bad. But he's so hard to fucking get. <laughs> uh, my expectations have been raised. Uh, I despise idle small talk. I shall get straight to the matter at hand. It concerns Skull Maramon. Despite his formidable strength, he is a uh, contemptible wreck who preys only on the weak. I wish to eliminate him, but he is extremely cunning. He is using a human security device to erect a barrier around himself. Though it shames me to admit it, I am unable to penetrate this barrier, RIP. Uh, I want you to deactivate it. I'll do my best. It was originally human technology. As a human hacker, it should be simple for you. If the opportunity for you to defeat him should also arise, that would save me from having to go through the trouble. I shall leave that up to you. Why do I wish to destroy Skull Maramon? I despise individuals such as him. Do not misunderstand. I do not make the absurd uh, assertion that the strong have a duty to protect the weak. Conflict is the way of the world. The weak resist the strong, and the strong uh, assail the weak. I do not involve myself in such things, but what I cannot abide is loathsome scoundrels who target only the weak. That is not how the strong should conduct themselves. They may be strong, but they are nothing but cowards. Yes, no school today. There's enough s well. They're calling for enough snow that they were worried that uh, transport home wasn't going to be good. We were originally supposed to get 10 to 15, it changed to 5 to 10, and then this morning we got like a huge chunk of it. It seems to have died off a bit now, but it's supposed to continue snowing until like 6 p.m. So, on the safe side of snowing, they kind of cancelled today. But they'll probably be school tomorrow. Which makes me sad. I was hoping for a four day weekend. In essence, I destroy that which I despise. Oh, that's cool. The barrier is deep underground in Shinjuku. That must be where Skull Maramon is. Do not fail me, hacker. I will do my best. Mira told me to talk to you more? Nah, I don't want to talk to you. Go away. Oh, it automatically teleported me here. Sweet. Uh, I gotta double check my team. It's been a little bit. Okay, so. So, 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 so. Main team. We're working on you to get you to your ultimate form because of you. You two are going to combine into, I'm assuming, the black uh, Omnimon version. <clears throat> you are also being worked on so you can combine with somebody else, I think. Oh yeah, one of, one of you is becoming Alpha Mon or something like that, isn't it? Yeah, and then you're going to combine with Alpha Mon. Okay, yeah. I've got a rough idea what I was doing. Buckets! How's it going, bud? I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, let's just attack people. Actually, I probably shouldn't. I should be a bit more strat strategic. The last Digimon game I played was uh, World Next Order, and it's literally just spam the X button until things die. <laughs> so I gotta get back into a strategic mindset for this game. How's your day going, Pockets? Hyper Cannon, that's just rude. <laughs> Pretty much that is how you play turn-based games. <laughs> Not too bad, I got a nice little day off today, so kind of relaxing, hopping back into some more uh, Digimon, taking a break from Resident Evil, seeing as how I've done both A and B runs for Claire and Leon. Mind you though, I still have a lot more to do with that. I gotta get the infinite weapons, and then eventually I still need to do hardcore mode for Leon to get the achievement on that. Then I need to get an S plus rank on both Leon and Claire during hardcore mode, which means beating it in under two hours, or two and a half hours, two and a half hours, I think. Uh, which will then give me the infinite rocket launcher and the infinite minigun. So, I still got a lot more to do with Resident Evil, but I need to take a break. <laughs> Alright, I was right with Rainamon. They have definitely made Resident Evil 2 very replayable. If you don't mind doing the same story in over and over and over again, uh, just in different mode types. Exactly, I'm definitely getting my value for it. But yeah, the fact that like my first playthrough took me eight hours to beat the story, and then my second playthrough only took me, I think like four is roughly what I was averaging. Uh, and the fact of to do 
perfect score, you need to get it under two. So they, they definitely added a, enough of a difference in the game to give you value in terms of time, and then quickly beat it if you want to just go through and like ramrod the game out. So you're not always stuck, feeling like you're playing the same eight hours over and over and over again. Yeah, they did a really good job with it. Yes, ramrod. Uh, where am I going? I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, if, if you're a fan of Resident Evil and you haven't gotten it yet, I highly recommend getting it. Highly, highly recommend. Uh, so this is Digimon Story Cyber Slew uh, Hacker's Memory. It is the second one in this line of Digimon games, where essentially... Picture Pokemon, but they can actually talk, they have their own personality types, uh, and there's some evil ones and whatnot. <laughs> so you're gathering your own Digimon team to fight against the evil people. In this storyline, the digital world is crashing with the real world, thus making them one thing. As you can kind of see, like, this stuff going on here. Uh, they're trying to combine into one whole world. And we are trying to stop that from happening. That's the very basics of this. <laughs> it is, it's hard to explain in some senses, but it's very fun. Let's get rid of those two first, because I believe they are ultimate level Digimon. Oh, the other different thing compared to Pokemon is when a Digimon digivolves, it can also de-digivolve unlike a Pokemon. So you can constantly go back and forth between your people, which is something that you actually have to do to get certain digivolutions. I guess there's the other thing as well, Digimon don't have one set digivolution line. They can go from uh, like usually five or six different uh, roads that they can travel. Which then will connect to five or six Digimon. Pretty much you can start with one Digimon and get almost any other Digimon. If you follow the proper path. Don't recommend doing it that way though. That will take you fucking forever. Yeah, next time I find a thing that lets me go to... Ooh, memory up. Uh, my Digivolution place, I'll kind of showcase it a bit. Wait, I wanted this. Memory up. Give me. 130 memory, nice. I wonder where my current memory is at. 4666, okay, we'll check that out in a little bit. I'm gonna go back, because we didn't go down that other hallway. Okay, you're super effective against him. And I guess with uh, Digimon as well, they come in three main types of which you can kind of see down in the bottom of my screen. Neptunemon is a vaccine type, Weregurumon Black is a virus type, and Dianamon is a data type, and then each one has their strengths and weaknesses against others, and then they can also be um, element typings, like Dianamon and Neptunemon are water-based, and Weregurumon is, I think, earth-based. So you can kind of get some back and forth between damage typings there. Most of the time you don't tend to pay too much attention to their elemental types. It's usually just you want to fight virus against whatever, data against whatever, and I think it's vaccine against virus, virus against data, and data against vaccine. I think that's how you want to do it. And then that little extra boost if you do uh, the elemental ones. Alrighty, let's go to 4666. And then hopefully we can find a thing to take us to Mirai. Because I want to check Digivolutions and whatnot. Uh, she's not super effective against any of them. Rip. Or we saw these guys in a line like this. You think Comic Con? <laughs> That's actually one thing I don't see too much of is uh, people don't tend to cosplay Digimon too much. 
Mind you, it's also hard to kind of cosplay Digimon as there are not too many that are like human based. Like, example, trying to cosplay Neptune Mon would not be the easiest thing in the world as that giant tail. Now, if you got rid of the giant tail and just went for a like foot based Neptune Mon, would be possible, but I think it'd be cool to see some people cosplay Digimon. People do do Aquaman, but Aquaman is a human, which is why. Like, most of the people here, like, uh, if I went into my little list here, uh, Weregurumon's doable, Dynamon's doable, Black Weregreymon's doable, uh, Bakemon is doable, even though it doesn't have feet, like, most of those people, because they're somewhat human-based, is definitely doable. It's just stuff like Neptunemon, because of his tail, not saying he's not doable, it's just a little harder. Which, actually, I'm just realizing now how many people I have that are more human-based in my team. Pokemon easy, yeah, just throw a sheet over your head. <laughs> Ooh, item. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Yoink. Nimble patch, don't care for that. But there's another one. What is it? Yoink. Eh, don't care for that either. Oh, we found the wall. Attack! Ah, uh, yes, deactivate the security wall. Should be too good of a hat and deactivate? Sure. If you say so. Do we gotta fight it? Yes, we do. Spam attack! Oh, uh, I fucking hate wall battles. They take so much. Walls are neutral enemies, so you do base damage, and they have a shit ton of health. Mind you, they never really attack. Unless they get their uh, thing popped up, but that doesn't happen too often. I think I've only had one wall ever get to the point where it was able to attack. 20% complete, yeah. Has to get to 100%. Yes, the Final Fantasy VII Temple Demon Wall is a very good example of that. <laughs> yeah, Final Fantasy, uh, any Final Fantasy game that has a wall-based monster in it is a pain in the arse. They definitely know how to make them sponges. Should be in there, should he? Alrighty, let's go then. Floor 9, space, space, 9, 9, space, 9, space, space, 9. Gotcha. Even facts for that were basically you need to get lucky once, uh, even if you leveled up well. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. A bank expansion, nice. Oops. So not only am I getting a farm expansion, I am getting a bank expansion, so I can have even more Digimon in my bank. Wait, where is it? Bank expansion. I feel ripped off. Oh, wait, no, these just go in here. Okay, so it automatically uh, implements it. Gotcha, gotcha. It's not one that I have to use. Alright, I'm just gonna basic attack these guys, try to build up some, uh,. Some SP for the Marimon fight. It means I'll take a bit of damage, but that's fine. I think I'm a little bit over leveled for this area. Yeah, these guys are kind of like Electrode with uh, legs. <clears throat> There's a new one that I found. I'm not sure if they made it for this game. Or if they uh, had it in other games, but there's a version of him that's a, a gotcha machine. So it's literally just him sitting in a little box with giant arms that come out and they try to grab things. <laughs> Actually, I might have uh, a picture of him on I think I'm a jig. So I think he's a Digimon that you can actually get. Uh, field guide. 
do. I just don't remember what level Digimon he is. There he is right there. Catch Mommy Mon. <laughs> I just find that so funny. It's so cute. I believe him in his little machine as well is roughly the same size as a normal one. So like the actual one that's sitting in the machine is like so much smaller. <laughs> It's not kind of awe, it's definitely awe. He's super cute. Alright, I'm also gonna save just in case here. I have no idea how hard this battle is going to be, but it shouldn't be too bad. It is only a three star mission. <clears throat> but seems potentially evil. He could potentially be evil. Uh, Mommy Mons do go back and forth on that. But it's no use, I'll burn you to a crisp. Why are you doing this? I haven't done anything to you. For fun. Why else? You're weak and I'm strong. I do it because I can. Yeah, Demi Devimon, just, just fly away. Fine. Then you'll be my new toy. If you say so, Bob. If you say so. Alright, let's see the damage output on this. Yeah, no, this will be an easy enough fight. Should have zero issues. So, like, that right there was a good example of, uh... The, the damage thing. Where Skull Marimon is fire and Neptune Mon is water. Even though he is technically weak to the data typing, he does get a little bit of a boost from the water typing, making it 0.75 damage uh, output instead of 0.5 output. Oh shit. I'm actually running low on health now. We should be fine though. Potentially. Yeah, there's a few modular details. It's honestly like, like I said, you don't tend to pay attention to the uh, to the elemental typings. You usually just pay attention to data, vaccine, and virus. But sometimes the uh, the elementals can be helpful. You beat him. Uh oh. Do you think it would be that easy? Now I'm going to make you pay. Get ready to meet your maker, and I'm assuming that um, Beelzemon's going to show up. That just made him mad. Uh, ooh, we have a choice. Uh, no, confront him. <clears throat> Are you sure? Excellent, I'll burn you to a crisp. Hey, and Beelzemon shows up. Or Belzy, however you pronounce it. This guy's fucking badass. One of the seven deadly Digimon? How did you get here? Think about it, you fool. I just arrived after this human. So, the human deactivated my barrier? Well, how the fuck do you think I got in, you tool? He's been a great help. I never thought he would be uh, bring you to heal, Skull Maramon. Call if you ever request my assistance. That will make things uh, even between us. I've been waiting for this moment. Now you'll get what you deserve, coward. Wait, please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. I just got carried away. It happens to everyone, right? I won't ever do it again. Please. No. I have pride. I would never attack the weak. So you let me go? But I will make an exception for the likes of you. Ba ba ba. Yeah, Belzimon comes from the third Digimon game. Oh, we can take him on cases? Nice. Yeah, he comes from the third Digimon game from uh, one of the puny little Digimons that didn't think he was uh, amounting to much, who was kind of evil, like he was the evil guy, but he was also helpful, and whatnot. But yeah. Trivia. Which of the following is one of uh, Metadormon's special moves? I have no idea who Metadormon is. I'm gonna say... Wait, what? Earth? Oh, Stomp and Stamp. Okay, that was the difference. 
Uh, I'm gonna say Earth Shattering Stomp. Let's go with that. Alrighty, let's hop over to the Digi Lab. Take a look at this stuff. Wait, no, this one. Okay, so this is the development kits that give us a new farm. That's fine though. We can uh, develop you farm expansion. You are now level four. Oh wait, we have another one? Oh sweet. A farm island, yes. There are farm islands. There, we now have three maxed out farms. Alright, you guys are going to... What were you guys again? Farm goods, you have... Were you guys training as well? Sure, why not? Farm Island 2. Farm goods. Uh... Oh yes, there was a specific person that needed to do some stuff here, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, that was, uh, you. I needed your information up. Can I see your information? Where's your information? Stats. Your int, I think, needed to go up? I can't remember. Something did. Alrighty. Digivolve. Where are on? Oh yeah, you need that one. Which means your defense needs to get to 135. Which is one point off of... Even though it says 144, it has the plus 10, so it's technically 134 right now. So we need one more defense point, and we can finally get that and potentially get Alpha Mon. Oh yes, and <clears throat> Pockets, this is what I was talking about for the Digivolution. So my Guru Mon can become any of the four of these people. And, he can, and any of these three can become him. So if you go back in the line, you'll see similar things like this, and you can essentially just bounce around the web all over the place. And then because these two are already maxed out, there's nobody they can digivolve into, but it still showcases who they came from. Minus that guy who I haven't actually gotten yet. Uh, you still need an Alpha Mon, and your int to be 150. What is your int? Your int is real low. Your int is not going to be high enough. Yes, you can devolve and uh, take a different route. You are working on that, I believe. Which means you need 135 defense, which you're almost there. That's good. Uh, do you have? You need a cam of 10%. What is your current cam? Your current cam is 0%. Can I increase that? Uh, experience, experience, friendship, cam of 10, we can. Do we want to, though, is the question. You have a 54 ABI, stats are halfway decent. Yeah, you know what, we'll do it. We'll get our uh, other sister mon. Friendship, you. Digivolve Sister Mont Blanc into Sister Mont Seal. There. Now, who can you Digivolve into? Uh, DLC First Edition Exclusive Digimon. So, you need to be level 60, you need 1150 HP. It is a bit of a puzzle. You have to make sure that you get the proper stats, you need to go back and forth, like uh, ABI, for example. I have no idea what ABI stands for, but ABI can only be gotten through digivolving and de-digivolving. So every time a Digimon digivolves, they gain a little bit. When you de-digivolve them from higher levels to lower levels, like say you went from a Mega to a Ultimate, which is the highest to the lowest, or sorry, the highest to the, the one below it, you get more ABI than you would if you went from an Ultimate to a Champion. Uh, so normally you'd like digivolve them all the way up, de-digivolve them all the way down, get a shit ton of ABI to the point that you got what you need and then go from there. So like this one, which I'm working towards now, needs 50 ABI, which I'm good on, and the other stats. Which I'm assuming is her secondary form. 
that's all that makes sense to me. Australian baby involvement. <laughs> so what do we need? We need 1150 HP, 30, uh, 130 attack, 150 speed. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be rough. Doable, but rough. Alrighty. Uh, who didn't we take a look at? Pokemon? What were we working on with you? You were going to become somebody. And I think it was through Phantomon you were becoming somebody. No, we already have Barbamon. Where is Barbamon? Uh, Farm Island 1. See, this is a problem when you haven't played in a while. You forget what you were working on. Okay, no, I don't have Barbamon. I have gotten Barbamon at some point, but I currently do not have him. So what were we working on with you? Why did I get your ABI so high? Uh, let's go back to Bakemon then. Were we trying to get Lady Devimon? No, because I, I don't have anybody that's going to give me uh, Angelomon. So that's not going to do me any good. The fuck was I working on for you? Screw it, I'm gonna make you a Lady Devimon. I'm just gonna hold on to you until I can get a uh, Angelomon. That's the new plan. Uh Oh shoot, we still need to get your cam to 100%. Uh, actually, how's your... Your ABI's good. So we need to get his cam to 100% as well. Otherwise, everybody in there is done. Okay. Let's take a look at this group. You can become him, but we don't need you because we already have your max form. You are working on him, I think. 70 SP, 85 int. Almost there, and almost there. Okay, yeah, you're good. Actually, you might max out level beforehand, so we may digivolve you. You just need to get a level 65. You need an ABI of 10 if we want that, which we don't have. Instead, we'll probably grab one of those two. Uh, do we want to do it that route? We could. Yeah, screw it. And who the fudge is that? Okay, I guess we're going to work on that then, because we don't have this person. Cyberdramon, you're working on Alphamon. 107 defense, 135 int. Yeah, your int is the weak point there. Oh, we already have a catch, uh, catch mommy mon. Would you look at that? And you need to become superstar mon. <clears throat> so we can get another platinum suke mon. Are you working to something specific? I think you were. Oh, there's another person that could get that. Don't have the stats to do anything else though. Uh, let's drop you down. We'll go somewhere else with you. Third island. Oh no, that's Lobomon. We didn't want to. No, we don't want to mess with him. We want him to become that, so we just hold on to him. Oh, we do have somebody working to. Okay, yeah. So Bakemon is to go towards uh, Lady Devimon, and then my Godomon here will become Angel Woman. The issue though is we only have two ABI, and we need ten. Okay, that's not a huge deal though. Just 
means you'll become Panama and then come back. Um, do we have space to put you in our inventory? We do. Okay, Gautamon's gonna come join us, that way she can level up a little faster. And let's bring these guys into the world. There, four new people. Uh, ten, ten. Okay, we'll put two of them in here. Actually, we'll put three of them. And then you can go in there. Perfect. Hey, I gotta correct with a guess. Would you look at that? Not that it does anything. Alright, back to the actual game. <laughs> that is the one issue with this, is when you haven't played it in a while, you do tend to spend a decent amount of time re-going over and trying to figure out what your plans were. Uh, we did actually get that new hacker memory. Let's take a look at that. Beauty memory number five. Hmm? What are you doing, Wormon? You haven't been uh, touching the users again, have you? No, I look at them from a distance. By the way, I was wondering about the Eden login devices. Uh, are you sure they're safe? What do you mean? When people log in, their consciousness is in Eden. Doesn't that leave the body defenseless? Couldn't people do bad things to them? An alarm sounds if any external contact is detected. They're perfectly safe. Who wouldn't want Wormon on their shoulders? Exactly, Wormon is super cute. And normally when Wormon's not running around, he is actually on Erica's other shoulder. You can also set them to notify the user if anything uh, goes near the body. Small establishments like ours essentially rely on users behaving themselves, but high-class login facilities have staff to monitor the users. There are still lots of gray areas, but it's illegal to touch a user's body. Yeah, that's actually a, uh, that's not a, a Digimon, that's a device that she's using for medical purposes. Mind you, it is also a highly technological device, but it's uh, just a real-world item. <laughs> so would I be a criminal if I touched Kisuke? Technically, yes. But the laws in the real world don't apply to Digimon, so I'd probably be held responsible as your owner. Don't even think about it. Hee <laughs> hee, I won't. I hope not. Huh? He's just pretending to be logged in. He's taking a nap. I asked him to gather information. <laughs> hey, Wormon. I know what you're thinking. I'd know even if our memories weren't synced. Let's do it. Oh god, poor Kisuke. Hmm, I can't believe he's still asleep. I would have thought drawing on someone's stomach would wake them up for, for sure. I must say, I'm very proud of the portrait of you I drew around the belly button area. You see, if someone isn't actually logged into Eden, nothing happens if you touch their body. If I did the same thing to someone who's logged in, the alarm would go off. You should never do that. I get it. Well, that was good. I taught you something and punished him for slacking off. Two birds with one stone. But won't he get angry? He deserves it for slacking off. It should come off in the shower. But the pen you used, it wasn't a permanent marker, was it? Uh, I don't know. What? I don't know either. Oh well. Yes, pockets, a portrait around the belly button. This is what happens when you slack off at work. Oh, we just, I forgot to claim the items. Yeah, we just got that. Okay, so we want to do... Was it Terrymon? Yeah, we want to do Terrymon's next. Uh, my friend Ranamon won't come back from uh, Asakusa. Oh, there's Impmon right there at the bottom, that little purple dude. He's the one that digivolves into Beelzemon in uh, the third Digimon series. All right, let's go get ourselves a new farm thing. Are you the hacker? Thanks for taking my case. I'm Terriermon. Pleased to meet you. I need your help. A Digimon I know named Rainamon said she was going to uh, Asakusa, and I haven't been able to contact her since. She's probably fine, but there's been a lot of chaos lately, so I'm worried she got, uh, she's gotten involved in something. I want you to find her. Will you do it? Of course. She's a yellow fox-like Digimon. I'll wait to hear back from you. Do, 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 do. Oh, there it is. We're worried about Rainamon with something up in... Okay, sure. Fox like Digimon? Yeah, I saw it in the dangerous looking place over there. 
Could I have kidnapped that girl? Probably not. Knowing Randomon. Oops. Uh, you're busy. Okay, if you say so. Girl's gone missing. I'm worried sick. You are all super helpful. It's highly likely that the missing girl and Randomon are in here. I should go to where the digital shift took place. That's easy enough. I just walked through this giant portal here. Alright, I've already been through here and grabbed all the items, so we don't really gotta worry about that. Just rush up here to Randomon. Randomon! What are you doing? Coink. Huh? Who are you? Terramon sent you to find me? I can't go back yet. There's something I need to do here. Also, I don't trust hackers. Well, aren't you just rude? Something she has to do. I wonder what it could be. I'll follow her and find it. You know, I'm here to help. But I guess if you don't trust hackers, you don't trust hackers. Simple as that. Ugh. Oh shit, that was easy. <laughs> exactly. When somebody doesn't trust you, you always just follow them around until they do. It's not being a stalker. Just being thorough with your investigation. Scissor claw. That's just rude. <laughs> so you told the judge. <laughs> oh, there's probably the missing girl. Huh? Who are you? A hacker? What's that? Everyone's worried? I want to go home, but... But the fox. She helped when a scary snake tried to attack me just now. She told me to run away, but I'm worried about her. That snake looked much stronger than her. She doesn't stand a chance. What? You'll help her? Really? Thank you. I <laughs> mean, never mind. <laughs> Oh, it's just a Mega Seedramon. Mega Seedramon shouldn't be that hard to fight. Mind you, Randomon is a rookie, and they are a ultimate, I think. Oh, get fucked, Randomon. Put up more of a fight than I expected. You idiot, I told you to run away. Huh? You're the hacker from before. What are you doing here? Oh, twice the prey, twice the fun. Is it really twice the prey though when I have four, or sorry, three Digimon with me? Wouldn't be four times the prey because there's four, or even five to six times the prey if you include the humans? I don't think this Mega Seedramon knows how to count. Oh, it's got some good health. Let's see how much damage this does. Yeah, he's got some good health. This could be an issue. Uh, let's drop a... Drop a B capsule. It's a complicated matter. Alright, pockets. See you in a bit. Really, you again? Uh, yeah, just do an HP. Top everybody up. Actually, I probably should be using the Gaia one with her. At least get a little bit of an increase. Because any increase in uh, damage better than nothing. Ocean Wave 3? As long as it's not Ocean Man, then we're good. Okay, let's see how much this does. It missed. So it did nothing. G fucking G. Oh shit, a triple. It's been a while since I've seen one of those. And it, oh, it's a damage increased triple as well. Fuck, this should do good. How much, how much, how much? Only, really, only 574? Actually, kind of sad.
Oh well, we'll win this without too much of an issue. Just a bit of a grind. Oh shit, you put him to sleep. Well, fuck. We should be able to fix that though. Do you have an anti-sleep skill? No, you only have paralyze and go. Uh, sleep recovery. Thank you. You have all the people to put to sleep. You're definitely not the one that I want to be asleep. Oh, I think Gautamon's maxed out. Yay, you won. Not bad. It was a valiant effort. Not gonna say that she never stood a chance. Spare me your platitudes. I got completely thrashed. No way, you were amazing. Thank you for helping me. I couldn't just stand by and do nothing. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if I let you get hurt. That's the only reason I helped. But you still saved me. Thank you so much. Whatever. Can't stay here. I'll take you somewhere safe. Hehe, <laughs> you're so kind. Aw, Rainamon. So sweet. I'm sorry I doubted you. I hate to think what would have happened if you hadn't come along. Thank you. <sighs> Why did I go to oh fuck. Double yawn, Jesus. Ugh. Why did I go to such a dangerous place? You'll help me uh, if I haven't finished what I need to do? That won't be necessary. I've done what I needed to do. No need to th think about it anymore. But what about you? Those are some strong Digimon you have. They made that fight look easy. I found you very interesting. Please don't hesitate to ask if you ever need my help. I owe you one. Sweet, we just got random on as a buddy, I guess. I see, random on always. Whoops, I clicked that button. Thanks for helping her. I'll send payment later. Huh? What was she doing there in the first place? That's easy. The thing about random on is she's really kind and can't possibly ignore a child in trouble. As soon as she heard that a girl went missing in Asa Asakusa, she rushed to the scene. She didn't even consider her own safety. That's why I was worried about her. Aww. Can't believe she actually offered to help you, though. She doesn't trust hackers. I'm amazed. She must have really taken a liking to you. Let me know if, uh, or let her know if you ever need her. I'm sure she'll be happy to help. Anyways, thanks again. Bye. Yeah, we can take Raidem on. Okay, did we get an item? No, we didn't. Those were in here first. There, now we got it. We're going to Digilab and get ourselves yet another farm set up. Yoink. Oh, nice. Add islands. Update. Now the question is, do I get five islands or four islands? I don't remember. Also, can I upgrade this one? I can. How many times can I upgrade it? Just the ones at the moment. Uh, what do we have for things? Or we'll give you those two, even though they're not really going to do anything. And you... Do some... No, no, wait, no, you were developing, weren't you? Develop a... Here's 10,000 yen. Make me something nice. Uh, ooh, we can convert Woodmon, nice. Move Digimon. Woodmon into this one. One of you guys, so that puts us at 778. Oh, wait, what? 3777. There. Got six in each now. And you still don't have that defense point, Jesus Christ. Wait, what? Oh, you weren't even able to get to a high enough level. Rip. Okay, uh, what is your... Things to get to Gatamon. I think I need Cam. Screw it. I can easily get her Cam if I need to. Yeah, I need 25% Cam. Okay. Okay, not super hard to do. Just a tad... Oh, we need 10% Cam now. <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, oh, I'll go back pockets. So to do this then, late for class. Yes, you're always late for class pockets every day. Uh, let's get rid of Neptune Mon. You know, I want, what do I want? Organize. There we go. So I need to get you cam because I don't think I have any cam items. Nope, I do not. I do though, I do have something I could do. Which is this. And his defense went up, Peachy. Fucking Peachy. Yoink. Metal Gurumon Black. Look at that sexy motherfucker. As much as I like the original blue. The black is super sweet. Like the the tiger stripes on the legs stand out so much more. The red eyes with the black is just so nice. Oh, so nice. Alrighty, so now we need a 100% uh, cammed black war Greymon, and then we also need to get him to level 60. You wouldn't want to face that. Neither would I. Do you ever battle other humans uh, in this? Yes, you do. Oops, I did not mean to give you experience, Rip. Um, you you can, uh, and it's essentially set up the same way where it's they have their Digimon uh, in a row and just battle back and forth. There's also a versus mode somewhere in the game where you can fight other players. So that's the best we can do for him at the moment. Let's take a look at stats for that at the very least. Where am I going? So we need defense 200. Wait, did our cam not... Oh, whoops, I'm looking at the wrong person. Okay, I know. Our stats didn't get high enough. 200 defense, 150 attack, 1500 HP. So nine more attack... And a shit ton more defense. 3.5 gigabyte follow at 76. But holy fuck! Mind you, they need it. I was playing yesterday, and the amount of times that I got kicked out of servers and whatnot. Holy fuck! So yeah, they definitely need a, a patch. All right, so I need two people to get their cam up. So I'm actually gonna switch out you as well. Where's my Organize, there we go. For you. So we need to get your guys' cam up. And we're actually going to go do some battles here. Uh, is there anybody that I'd like to have more of? We'll go to this area so I can get myself an Impmon that I could potentially work into Beelzemon. Uh, enjoyed the world when I've played it, but I've found some difficult spikes quite brutal. Yeah, I've, I'm at a point where I'm more just kind of bored of the game. Like, I still enjoy it and I play it with friends, but I've done most of the stuff. Or it's just auto repeated death, damn. Yeah, it's more game design. Yeah, I kind of got, I've gotten myself to level, what am I, 84 or something like that. So it's, I'm not in a terrible position for myself in terms of levels and battles. It's just I'm at the point where I've done pretty much everything. I've got, I think, like five or six achievements left that I need to get in it. One of which is get to level 100. Another of which is take 20 photos, which I could easily do, but I don't want to take random photos. <laughs> okay, so how much cam do we get for doing that? Uh, that's not what stats, that's what we want. We got one cam for that, okay. So that's the case, I guess I need to do 25 battles and 100 battles. I got super lucky in Fallout though, with one achievement. Uh, the one for taking out 
the um shoot what's it called the giant bat mother thing like the really big boss in the game uh, i joined a server that they had just launched the nuke and there was like 10 guys that were level 150 so i just joined in took a couple pot shots where i could and kept myself alive <laughs> so i got the achievement for that one <laughs> Yeah, that is probably one baddie that I cannot do at the moment. Most other uh, enemies though are like nothing. It's just the flying fox that are still annoying. PZ doesn't have any achievements, really? Is is, follow is it on Steam? Because if it's on Steam, it should have uh, Steam achievements that are equivalent to PlayStation. I think. Not positive on that though. Just on the Bethesda launcher? Okay. But yeah, I have no idea. That sucks. Yeah, achievements for me are one of the things that keep me playing a game. Even after I've beaten the story, there's replayability in the sense of going back and grinding out trophies. The, they're building at the same time as the game? Ah, that's gonna be an issue then as well. Okay, you try to build a launcher at the same time, it's not going to be the best thing in the world. They added an adjustable download rate fi finally? Nice. No, it's uh, stats. Four and five. Progress! <laughs> I do hope the best for Bethesda though, like they do make good content, even if it is kind of buggy. I still enjoy the games that they put out, as much as people might rip on them. Destruction Cannon. Oh no, but in my mind, Bethesda, for most of the games that I've seen, uh, I don't think they've ever really done a cash grab. Like, they legitimately are trying to make decent games for people. They just don't always come out the best. Especially considering how 76 sort of is just a rehash of 4. So they could have done somewhat better, but they still did good with it. I enjoyed it. Or I should say I enjoy it. I'm not done enjoying it. Exactly, they made a lot of effort to try to fix things. I would like to see some new IPs though. That's probably the biggest thing that uh, I'm interested in at the moment from not just Bethesda but any game studio is new IPs. As much as I enjoy uh, seeing the same, like, uh, I love Assassin's Creed, I, even though I haven't bought the last few, but I'd love to play another Assassin's Creed game, I'd love to play another Digimon game, Resident Evil remakes and whatnot, I absolutely love seeing those, I do, but I still would like to see some new IPs, I'd like to see something new come out. Like RPGs I absolutely fucking love, but it's always just the next one in a series of what's currently going on. I'd like to see some new IP RPGs. So hopefully, fingers crossed that uh, some game, or not game devs, but studios and whatnot uh, start coming out with some new I IPs. New good IPs, I should say as well. There's, there's plenty of new IPs that are absolute trash. I'd like to see some new good IPs, like uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Absolutely fucking loved it. <clears throat> so now now that they've done that and they've made the new IP for that, seeing them continue that one will also be very beneficial. In my mind, at least. Yes, new IPs aren't safe investment, which is an issue. Also, high band. I think PC gaming has been amazing for that recently. So many indie and smaller games. Yes. The issue that I have with indie games, though, is generally 
because there are so many, the good ones get hidden by the trash. So I'm liking the fact that Steam has cleaned up some of their uh, their stuff, like a lot of the, the anime stuff that was coming, as much as I fucking love anime, like I'm playing Digimon right now, for example, as much as I love it and whatnot, there was so much of that coming out at one point that it just hid everything, and Steam actually had to come in and be like, nope, no more of this shit. <laughs> Alright, what do we get? Okay, we're at 10%, so we can digivolve you at the very least. Yes, new IP isn't always original. And Anth yeah, Anthem is technically a new IP and whatnot. Same with um, what's the the new battle royale? I'm playing Apex. Apex is a new IP, but it's or actually is Apex a new IP? Technically, because it is set in the Titanfall universe. So is it classified as a new IP? That I'm not sure on. Technically, okay. Then, but that, that's the thing though. Is for me, it it doesn't necessarily need to be original. Like I would gladly play another Final Fantasy like game, but it's a new story. It's got a different element in that sense. It's still the same type of gameplay. It's still the same all-around thing like that, as long as it's not a complete 100% rehash tag of it. Um, but it's just it's like new stories for me are what I enjoy. All right, so for you to get got on, we need 25% cam. How are these people doing? You need 150 int, which I don't think is going to be possible. You just need that defense, which is two points off. Actually, we could probably do that now. I think cash grab is a term that gets misplaced in this case, though. Fallout New Vegas was a cash grab, and people often think that it's the best Fallout. Yeah, there is that. The Puppymon? That is uh, Salomon. Oops. Uh, Salomon digivolves into... It's going to let me... There we go. Yeah, Salomon digivolves into Gatomon, which is that cat one from earlier. Yeah, no, cash grab is definitely, like, they, I don't agree with the term cash grab in most sense. There's very few games that I would actually list as a cash grab. Yeah, exactly, Pockets. Oh yeah, I was gonna uh, give that guy some experience. Yeah, there there are very few games that are cash grabs. Like I will, uh, I'll say that um, EA, a lot of the recent games that they've been coming out with have 100% been cash grabs because they haven't tried to make anything different. They've been putting big name items on things like Star Wars, for example. A lot of people think that that's a cash grab. Um, they haven't really put an effort into anything, which is a lot of the people's biggest issues. What is this? Boy restores HP. Who's that normal? Oh, yeah, we don't need any of this. Oh, wait, ingre Oh, shit, yeah, we have uh, food that we can just. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, let's pop you into farm four. I forgot that I can just do this. Uh, you. Feed. Camp plus one. No, we don't want camp plus one. We want more than that. Eat it. Quit bouncing off. Really? Maybe I can only give her the small stuff. Uh, the farms are for a few different things. Uh, I only have limited space for carrying Digimon. Uh, so farm acts as a area to hold on to the Digimon for me. As well as they can do three different things within the farm. Uh, you can do training, you can do development so they can make items for me, and they can do, in whoops, oh fuck it, I'll just leave that on investigation. They can do investigations to find information for me or missions and whatnot. Is it New Vegas got the, the green light from a corporation level rather than a development level? Put on a tight development time from a contracted third party because Fallout 3 was way more popular than expected. 
and they thought there was money to be made from getting another Fallout thing out that fast. And then yeah, there there is a bit of a cash a cash grab in that sense. I guess it really comes down to whether something has enough uh, detail into it to be. Oh yeah, I took you out of the thing. Uh, enough detail in something. Well, let me get my words here. Um, there, there's enough of a gameplay to make it worthwhile. Um, there's enough backing behind it that even after the game is released, that they're continuing to try to make it better if there are issues. And that there's... Shit, what was the first thing I said? I already said detail. There, there was a third thing I was going to say. Whether it was 100% just a means of money grab. So in this case, with New Vegas, yes, it was... Per, it, the corporate level thing definitely makes it a money grab in that sense. But they stuck with it. They put a lot of information in the game to make it its own unique thing in some senses. Even though it was the same engine and whatnot, it was its own story. And there was enough of a development background behind it that they stuck to it when there was issues to fix the bugs. So there, there is still a little bit of the cash grab uh, thing behind it. But it the cash grab gets diminished because they're willing to help fix the game. Unlike other things, like, in, in my opinion, still EA here, where EA put out a game, there was issues with it, they said, fuck it, we don't care, and left it at that. Which makes it 100% just the cash grab. They what bugs they didn't fix? Them damn... Cardozos, whatever they're called. <laughs> oh, I need five more cam from her. Eat five more. Casadors are a feature and a bug. <laughs> Yeah, when it's definitely not a consumer-worthy experience, it, it definitely adds to the cash grab feel. Okay, she should now be high enough in cam, right? I keep forgetting that I don't have her on my party. 27, perfect. Uh, this one, pop you back in there. And we're also going to do this to War Greymon increase his cam. Where am I going? Where's my thing? There we go. Come on, eat it. Oh, I can't increase it any further. Rip. <laughs> I feel like the term cash grab gets used in a similar way to the term propaganda. It's only a cash grab slash propaganda if it doesn't make me feel good. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Your cam is now 100%. Oh, buddy. Uh, which means, which means... We only need to get him a high enough level. We need to get those stats and get him to level 60, and we are good to go. Then we can get uh, whatever that is. Organize. Switch you back over you. Switch you back over you. Booyah! And we can continue with the story. We don't got to worry about uh, doing free battles to get the cam up. Yeah, even with all that, though, there are still very few games out there right now that I would try to put a cash grab term on. There's nothing that I feel is truly a cash grab. Because mind you, like, like we said, a lot of people would agree that Fallout uh, 76 was a cash grab. But I personally don't feel like it was. Wait, what? We get... Okay, I'm gonna take Marayoshi. Are you asking for my help? No, that's a change. Seriously, we bring Marayoshi on a mission? The fuck? 
Uh, how are we going to do that? Well, what's the thing for this one? Uh, hacker team 5, enemy hacker team enable lower ally attack in battle. Okay, that's not too bad. So why is his body white? Wasn't his body black? Did the game break? Oh no, his body was white. Okay, never mind. Oh, we can't go this way. Or, oh no, this goes up and down? Ah, okay. I see, I see. And he's got a Gardramon. I think that's what that is, correct? Isn't it? Oh, it's not gonna give me a name? No, it's not a Gardramon. What am I talking about? That's, uh, something else. I forget what that one's name is. I think there are very few developers actually out to exploit people. I believe most want to make great games that people enjoy. There's a lot of flack going around at the moment. Exactly, yeah. There's also a lot of entitlement, I'll find. Like, a lot of, uh... Recent gamers feel that they are entitled to specific things with games, which is not a good, uh, good thing. Yeah, it's definitely something that needs to be fixed in some regard as a community and as a game developer. This guy's actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. He had a decent setup team, but fucking just stomped on them. Wait, what do we got? Ice Wolf Claw. I actually do need to double check his movesets. See if there's anything I can add into that since he did evolve. Ooh, that was actually real good. Movesets. Digimon settings? Yes. Oh, you have two things. You have Guru, Tomahawk, and Ice uh, Wolf Claw. 45 to all foes, or 140 neutral to one foe. Okay. BRB, okay. See you in a minute, pockets. Again, physical Mac Rush. Ooh, we do have two dark ones. Uh, 85 to one foe, 75 to one foe. Okay, let's get rid of that for Thunderfall, just so we also have a. Electric move that damages all enemies. Oh, you can have an accessory now? If I remember correctly. Yeah. This right here is an item that I started off with. It's that goggle right on the top of his head there behind the spike. This is how I tell who my original Digimon was. So Neptune Mon is my original Digimon. <laughs> uh... Tend to put it in. Tend to put it as a power thing. People who want to make good games aren't in decision-making decisions. People who view video games as a business are, and they get to override the people who just want to make games they like or things people enjoy. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. And as, like, I, I've taken business classes, business is my second teachable, and I do see that aspect, it's where you need to find, like, to, to find that perfect business, to find that perfect setup, is where you need to mix the two. You can't focus solely on um, business class ideas, as much as they are definitely needed, you can't be fully cutthroat in a business and expect to thrive. But you can't be fully just giving people what they want either otherwise you're gonna bankrupt yourself you're gonna like go over the budget you're gonna um, just not do what you need to actually do as a business so it's finding that balance between the two and I feel like a lot of businesses are definitely trying to do that but with the way society is nowadays a lot of the entitled uh, gamers are sitting there demanding that they get certain things and a business is going like okay well how can we actually make this happen and then they tend to go too much to one side or the other. Oh, someone's uh, plowing the, the 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 parking lot. I was wondering what that noise was. Excuse me, sir. Do you have an emblem behind you? You do. I need to fight you. 
You know, even with the attack down, I'm still kicking these guys' ass. I view 76 as an example where the people who saw how much money GTA Online make not taking their hands off the decision-making levers. While New Vegas let the devs make what decisions they liked within the confined seven. Yeah, that is definitely a, a way to view it. I can see that. And I find with 76, not fully, but they've definitely been moving more towards the uh, New Vegas way where they're letting devs make some decisions as they've given players certain things that we've actually been asking for. Mind you, there's still a lot that we would like to have that's not been implemented that shouldn't really be too hard. You know, like some fixes in the game. Uh, it's not like just giving us things, it's like fixing certain things to make it better um, that haven't happened. So it it's, seems like it's slowly moving more towards a balanced area, but it's definitely more of a uh, the GTA Online, like, this is what we want, we're going to do it this way type of thing. There was a message in there. DG line. Oh, they've done their stuff, okay. Uh, that's going to take us up to him, so we'll ignore that. Ooh, item, what's this? Dino Rexpawn. Never heard of you. Can't activate that, okay. Okay, let's get rid of this guy. Should be able to do it in one hit, I think. Yep. And you. Yeah, gaming is definitely in a weird place right now. There's a, a power struggle between business devs and players. So it'll be interesting to see where things go in the future. I am looking forward to it and I am also dreading it. Mind you, there also aren't a lot of new games coming out soon. But E3 is only in like, what, a month or two away? So there might be some new announcements there. Looking forward to that. Maybe we'll finally get a, uh, <laughs> a, a, a launch date for... Why am I blanking on words today? The Last of Us 2. That's what I'm going for. Maybe they'll give us a launch date for The Last of Us 2. 1983 version 2. What? I have no idea what you're talking about, man. Does sound familiar though. Was 1983 a game? I'm assuming. Was oh, was the year the video game market? Ah, okay. Oops, I did not want to activate this one. I wanted to activate the other one. I doubt we'll completely crash though. But we're definitely looking like going into something similar to it. At least a downswing. Yeah, just evolving. Hey, who knows? Maybe this um, new game console that Google's supposedly coming out with will revolutionize the gaming industry. I would fucking shit my pants if Google decided that they're coming out with a uh, like full dive technology where we essentially are in the video game. I think that would be fucking amazing. I don't mean like VR where you put on a headset type of thing. I mean like you are in the video game. Don't do that to your clothes. <laughs> Ooh, who are these people? Oh, are these the Beast Spirits? No, this is Burning Greymon and Kendo Garurumon. He kind of looks like Kendo Garurumon kind of looks like Lotmon Digivolved into a beast, and Burning Greymon kind of looks like a Goonimon 
digivolved into something. So those might be the Beast Spirits. I'm not sure though. I think when games in real life start mixing, we'll be screwed. <laughs> I probably would become an addict, I won't lie about that, but I would fucking love to play video games like Sword Art Online-esque things, I would be so fucking happy for. I want it so bad. Meteor Fall 3. Guys are actually relatively strong. Not strong enough though, sadly. But yeah, an RPG game where I'm actually in the game would be so much fun. It's one of the reasons why I actually wouldn't mind getting VR, um, just to be able to set up uh, the running treadmill thing, putting a VR on and playing like a, an RPG that way. Uh, I think the main thing that's held off a similar crash has been indie games acting as a release valve, stopping discontent, new discontent from price rise in AAA games through transitioning to a complete turn off form. Or from buying games into just buying indie instead. Yeah. Indie games have definitely helped uh, alleviate some of the issues with that. So yeah, indie games started showing the fact that uh, AAA games aren't just the sole powerhouse. There are definitely indie games out there that are strong enough to be uh, games on their own, but they're made by smaller corporations. I don't think angry internet gamers are fully represented of games in general either though. Well, that's the same with any represented groups. You take a look at uh, anything out there, and nine times out of ten, what you're going to hear is the extreme side of things. You're going to hear about the uh, the radicals, that's what I was going for. Uh, because those are the ones that are o their voices always heard. So even though they are not representative of the group as a whole, they're generally the one that people hear the most from. Because as we all know, the internet is a place where you can get angry and everyone has to listen to you. E3 Crash wasn't about angry people, it was just uh, people overwhelmed with a flooded market which was getting more and more expensive and just, yeah. That is also the big issue. I think right now though, in terms of price ranges, I don't think we're getting more expensive. We are definitely getting flooded though. We're getting flooded with more games, prices are relatively staying the same. I hear a lot about the communities for individual games, and more often than not it just refers to the people invested enough to be commenting, yeah, pretty much. It's, it's one of the reasons why I stay off Reddit. Reddit is a place- oh we got the- oh shit! We got those were the B spirits. B spirit of flame, B spirit of light. We can now make them. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, but yeah, Reddit is, is a place to just feed off of uh, each other's hatred. There, There's very few places on Reddit, in terms of video games at least, that I find quality content. It's more just people to bitch and moan. That wasn't a fair fight. I'm out of here. Well, good. Get the fuck out. By the way, what do you do on your days off? Hmm, me? I usually just rest at home, but one of the, uh, my officers invited me to his house the other day. His wife used to be one of my officers, too. They, uh, invited me quite, er, they've invited me quite a few times now. Last time was their daughter's fourth birthday. She kept saying she wanted to invite me to her party. She's a cute kid. She takes after her mom. But the way her eyes narrow when she smiles is just like her dad. Aw, uh, did she call you Grandpa Mariyoshi? Sounds like you're talking about a grandchild. You're just, you're such a big softie. 
Ooh. Ooh. Let's go with the first one. Ah, oh, I didn't get the right one. Oh well. But seeing my officers look so happy makes me want to make sure they make it home safely no matter what. With the Digimon turmoil lately, there ha there's been a rise in vicious crimes, but because of the general chaos, it hasn't been reported in the news. Even in these uncertain circumstances, my officers have a duty to put the c safety of the citizens before their own. He's no different. But it's my role to make sure they don't let their youthful enthusiasm cause them to take unnecessary risks. Sorry for the long story, but I'd better get back to the station. Well, thank you for stopping in, Matayoshi. You're definitely a great guy. Here's something to say thanks for all the, the talk. Oh, nice! It's not safe inside. Be careful. Bye for now. Would say prices are increasing, but it's not on face. Hidden behind season... Yeah, season passes or collector's editions instead of... Uh, instead of just a flat price gain. People don't turn it off in the same way they would if games came with a $100 price tag on face. Yeah, I, I can definitely see that. And people are more willing to put out money for things like collector's editions and season passes because they feel it's something different. Uh, wait, what was it? What was Ruji's partner Digimon when you first met him? It was... Cyberdramon. It was Shyberdramon. The good thing about uh, Season Passes and Collector's Edition, though, is the fact that you don't have to pay for it. It still sucks, because you feel like you're missing out on things. But it does at least give the consumer the option not to purchase it. Unlike in the olden days, where it was literally just a price uh, increase. Here we go, let's figure out what this guy is. Pile uh, Volcamon. That's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Sorry, Pile, but you sadly need to go. You can pop over there. Can Pile go to anything else? No, Pile is now maxed out. Also, a general, uh. Generalized aspect of things. Remember the CEO of Applebee's saying the reason they were struggling was millennials have better bullshit uh, meters than we did at their age? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is true. Okay, you're gonna pop over to Lady Devimon. And you were gonna chill here. Do we need to get... What do we, need? we need Cam to be 100. Okay. It's not a huge deal, though. We can easily get your Cam up. Just gotta make sure I'm reading that name right. I think it's Berserker. Welcome. Uh, a King Edemon? Best debuffer? I don't tend to debuff. I'm more of just a flat attack kind of guy. I also have no idea how to get King Edemon. <laughs> Be amazed if the CEO of Applebee's used the French version of meters. <laughs> or is uh, that the French version? Either way, you know what I mean. Exactly. Alright. Ooh, we could get a Lilithmon, but I'm still gonna save you for Mast uh, Mastemon. Uh, where's my Gatomon? There's my Gatomon. Boink. Okay, can you get Angelmon? on? Yes, you can. You just need to be level 30. And then from there, we need to figure everything else out. Uh, what do we need for that? 80 ABI, but you have 80 ABI, so we don't need to worry about it for the Angelmon. Can you get to... We may need to d evolve once, though. Did you evolve Volcanemon to Edemon? Then just up to the first choice? Ah. Find the quote to see which one he used? Okay. That wouldn't be too hard to get him, but I think I'm going to stick with what I got. Again, so I'm not much of a debuffer. I'm just usually just straight attack. Okay, that's everyone there. Is anybody in here good to go? You're close. You need to be 65. You still go a long ways off. Am I going anywhere specific with you? I don't think I was, so sure, you can go to Meteormon. I think Millennials have better uh, bullshit meters than we did growing up. Joyce said, okay. Meteormon, where can you go? 
Ebimon, Metal Edimon, or Dianamon. Of which you have the ABI to do any of them. What about your level? Level 99? So yeah, we'll just see what we get. Same thing, you just need to be high enough in level. Oh, you know, we're in the same people. We're... Oh yeah. I've got uh, him set up in my party right now. Just uh, also working on getting... Where is he? Yeah, I've got him right here. Just working on getting um, Alpha Mon so I can get whatever this is. The issue though is his int isn't going to be high enough, so I'm going to have to figure that out. Same with Cyber Dramon. Cyber Dramon's my other one for Alpha Mon, but his int's not high enough. Alrighty. Uh, you're still not good yet. Getting hot off our now, Pockets? Alrighty, well thanks for stopping in. You enjoy your day, Pockets. There we go, we can get Kendo Garurumon. Look at that. Look at that. Now can Kendo become it? Ooh, he can. 80% cam though, so we're gonna have to work on that. I feel out of place now that you have someone actually discussing the game. <laughs> Don't worry about a band. So yeah, we now have Kendo, which can evolve into whatever that is. Kind of tempted to bring him into the party, but I don't think I will. And I think that's... Oh no, we still got island number four. Up, 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 uh, None of you, I think, are ready. None of you are ready. Can we convert? We can convert. Oh shit, yeah, we have Immon now, so I can work on getting uh, that other guy. What's his name? I was just talking about him a little while ago. Ooh, the issue is I have no idea what path I need to follow, though, to get to him. I think it's Wizardmon. I think if I go through Wizardmon, I get him. Belzymon, that's the one I was going for. Dog and a cat. Shit, I can't even get that right. <laughs> My Digimon commentary basically goes, cat evolves into dog, which evolves into angel woman. What's up with that? <laughs> yeah, Digimon is weird in that sense. They go all over the place. Okay, so we got five people, seven, six, six, six. We'll make sure everybody has seven then. And then you can have eight. And you can have eight. There. And away we go. Uh, what are these ones? Can't forget it. We're we're playing a game, and suddenly this futuristic thing was there. Let's do a mission for Matayoshi. What are you talking about, Matayoshi? You take my case, I appreciate it. As I wrote on the bulletin board, it's very urgent. The central hospital manager has gone missing. All signs suggest he vanished in the hospital. After interviewing the hospital staff, I thought this case would be right up your alley. Ask the nurse near reception uh, on the first floor for details. If this isn't resolved, the hospital may be forced to close. Uh oh. Wait, really? One doctor disappears and it potentially closes? That okay. Uh, all hospitals have been struggling to cope with the sudden increase in patients since Digimon started appearing, appearing in the streets. You don't need me to tell you how much of a disaster it would be if we lost even one hospital. That's why we've designated. Er, wait, wait, what, what? That's why we've designated this case top secret. Whatever you do, don't let the word or don't let word of the investigation get out. I make zero promises. Have you given the new Resident Evil stories a go yet? It's been like almost a day, hasn't it? Uh, I haven't played any of the uh, new ones yet, no. I decided to take a break from Resident Evil today to play Digimon instead. <laughs> but I will be getting back to them soon. Soon, 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 soon. Oh, there you are. Ah, you must be the specialist the detective mentioned. I'm sure he told you, but our manager has been missing since yesterday evening. He failed to turn up to a meeting, and several people looked around but couldn't find him. 
He's a very, very, or he's very, wait, he's very, a very meticulous person. Shouldn't that, shouldn't that be he's, he's very, or he is a very meticulous person? I'm not the best when it comes to English, but shouldn't that be it? Uh, yeah, failed to clock out and just left things in his office. Do you have the coffee achievement yet? I don't believe I do have the coffee achievement yet. The police are also searching for him. He lives alone, and they say he hasn't returned home. We think we've searched the entire hospital, but the detective said it's possible he's still here somewhere. He said he'll call in a professional. Or said he, yeah, he said he'll call in a professional who specializes in mysterious disappearances and other strange phenomena. That must be you. Usually, the manager said he had business in the general ward on the twelfth floor yesterday. One of the nurses there must have seen him. Most of the nurses still don't know about his disappearance, so please do your best to keep your investigation quiet. I will try. Again, I make zero promises. 12th floor. Yes, that's what she just said. Well, I better get back to work. Oh, it's what's your Excuse me. You haven't seen the man people call the manager around here, have you? I'd like to talk to him. Oh, are you with that specialist? That's right. Please tell me where the manager is. Rip. Somebody's lying. Hey, right, madam, what are you doing? Did I see the manager yesterday? He went down the corridor and into the last room on the left. Afterwards, I didn't really see. Last room on... Well, I'm going to go into every other room. Oh, damn it, I can't. Never mind then. Last room on the left. This one? Well, it's a good thing that the first nurse you and the Digimon ran into uh, is one of the few nurses who knew about the doctor's disappearance. Well, we were told uh, to go talk to that one specifically. We were told to talk to her. <laughs> oh, this quest is great. Oh, God. This room appears to be empty. The nurse saw the manager come in here. I'll take a look around inside. Ooh, item. A Searchmon medal. Okay. Looks like there might be somebody under the duvet. There's no one there. It's just a pillow. Is the doctor, like, hidden somewhere? It's just taking a nap. DV, I wonder if there's anything going on. Is that a video? Every channel is just a black screen. Hmm. Something, or er, some writing has appeared. If you try to help him, I'll show no mercy. You'll wander alone for all eternity in a place where no one will hear you cry, or hear your cries for help. The Pellow is a Digimon who has eaten the doctor. <laughs> a message. Someone watching me? Whoever sent this must be the one who took the manager. I don't think there's any more information to find here. I'll leave. If, if you say so. You didn't really look around that hard, but I guess. There's no one here. Yes, everyone is definitely hiding. 100% it. No, that's absurd. I'll take a look around. There's something uh, unusual about this floor. I'll take the ele elevator back to the lobby on the first floor. Oh, I can still get messages. Listen up. What is written on the door of Erica's room in the calf? It's a uh, VIP, isn't it? I believe it's VIP. Yeah, everyone did just kind of vanish, didn't they? Uh oh. Oh, it warped me back. This is makes uh, using the elevator out of the question. Am I trapped on this floor? No, I shouldn't jump to a conclusion just like that, but you should jump. Go open a window and jump out of it. See what happens. You're only on the 12th floor. You'll survive. Something must be jamming the signal. What's going on here? Okay. Oh, it won't open. Was it closed before? I believe it was. And poof, we're back. Okay, anything on this side? Oh, what do I got here? Looks like the windows can't be open for safety reasons. Oh god, it's wanna cry? What? Uh, I'll break a window and try calling for help. Uh, sure. Odd enough, maybe I can get someone's attention. It's worth a try. <laughs> Does uh, Detective Mario for help if I get in trouble for it? 
Should be able to break it with a plant pot or a wheelchair from the corridor. Do I actually have to go? Oh, no. All the plant pots and wheelchairs are stuck to the floor. They won't budge. And I couldn't drag them either. It's bizarre. It's like they've been bolted down. I tried hitting the window with my hand, but it didn't break. It just hurt my hand. I guess I have to give up on the window idea and find another way. Sorry, British joke. The NHS British doctor's house, hospitals get, uh, got uh, heavily infected with a ransomware a couple of years ago called WannaCry. Ah, uh, well, shit. <laughs> That's not good. Hmm, the door won't open. Well, that's not good. I'm completely trapped. If you try to help him, I'll show no mercy. You'll wander alone for all eternity in a place where no one will hear your cry for help. Hey, it's Sorcery Mon. You must be the specialist that the head nurse talked about. If you're looking for the missing manager, then it seems we share a common objective. It, look, uh, it looks like the space around this door is ever so slightly distorted. Stand back. Hey, digital space. That's the culprit. Let's see if we can get uh, some answers. If it wasn't for Sorcery Mom, we probably would have been fucked. Ooh, item. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Friendship. That's just a 10% increase in cam, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, we can use that. Uh, first and foremost, so was there somebody specifically I wanted to give this to? Uh, you. Who's it I need Cam for, though? Oh, he's got him on, isn't it? Or is it both of them? Both of them technically need it, so yeah, I can give it to either of them. We'll save for now. Uh, you want to get to 80... Oh yeah, I wanted to get 80 Cam on something. Uh, was it somebody in the party? I don't think it was somebody in the party. I'll just save it for now. We'll figure it out later. Any shinies? Shiny items? Shiny? Shiny? No? No shinies? I'm like a crow. I enjoy shiny objects. Oh god, this is gonna be a maze area. This is gonna make me so sad because I'm probably gonna miss an item. <clears throat> Ooh, it's this guy. Come on. Oh, well, there goes Chumon. Feel like you're underselling crows a bit. <laughs> yes, crows like more than just shiny objects, but they do enjoy shiny objects as well. Okay, that's where I'm supposed to go, so we're gonna go back. They can wait. I have more important things to do. Like exploring all this stuff. Hey, there's an exit! I forgot to do something again, and I forget to do it every single time I come into these areas. Magpies tend to be what uh, what's associated with shinies in British or Britain in British, yes. Uh, though again, there's more to them than just that. Okay, I don't think I've ever seen a magpie. Hey, I've probably seen a photo of it, but that's about it. Uh, that's the one. I keep forgetting to do this every time I come into an area. Makes everything so much faster. I actually read a uh, article recently that um, was it like a little girl was feeding crows, and they made a habit out of it and whatnot. And they found out that uh, the the crows were doing more than just like eating food. They were constantly giving the little girl um, little treasures that they found as presents and whatnot for food, and then. The mother one day was like she's a photographer. She went out to do a photo shoot and accidentally dropped a lens over uh, a bridge or something like that. It was essentially in a she dropped it in a place where she wouldn't be able to retrieve it, so she just left and whatnot. And when she came home, the area that the birds normally leave their little presents, they left the lens. So they found out that the the birds were actually watching over the family and things like that. I cannot believe a mere champion Digimon was able to break my spell. You should never judge a book by its cover. Oh, I see the mouse I trapped is here too. I do wish you had stayed in your cage. 
chore. Correct. As a reward for finding your way here, let me tell you how I did it. You probably thought you were wandering around the 12th floor, but you were actually in the space all along. <gasps> OMG! It's a miracle! When your hand touched the door to leave the room, my spell was invoked. You fell asleep, and were instantly transported here. I used another spell to confuse your senses and make, your, make you think this open space was the 12th floor. You were trapped by a spell when you left the room. The central hospital you uh, experienced before you left the room was the real thing. In the fake hospital, the spell showed you the door didn't actually exist, but you believed you could see and touch it. However, you are the wait, you are the one variable it did not account for, Sorcery Mom. Not only did you break my spell, you also located and entered this space. What are you? A Digimon, just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. Are you satisfied with that explanation? It will do. Did you come to save this man? Unfortunately, I cannot allow that. He will stay here until he dies. That is why I created this place. As long as you are here, no matter how much you plead for help, no one will ever hear you. You will remain here all alone until the last breath of life leaves your body. It is no more than you deserve. Oh, rip. Uh, crows have a gossip network that I think is about five miles in radius. If you hurt one crow, then every crow within a few miles will know you're a dick to crows. Damn. I did not know that. I did know that if you ever want to get rid of crows, uh, if you kill a couple and hang them up on a tree near your house for a couple of days or something like that, you, like all crows will usually vacate that area for a long time. So I'm, I'm assuming it's the same type of premise as the, the gossip thing. I never intended to allow you to return anyway. Your fate is uh, to stay here and rot. Some people don't like crows. I personally don't mind crows. Okay, Kuzuhaman, let's go. You have some decent health. You have no SP. Hell Crusher. Pew pew. Sorcery Bomb with the 7 damage. You're gonna be super useful. Okay, that Hell Crusher's gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass. Oh, it only hits 3 people at once, that's good to know. Oh, Sorcery Mon, you are gonna be a healer, thank fuck. Yeah. Boop. Oh, she's almost dead. I'm thinking this should be the last attack. Hey, we did it. Oh shit, 3000 experience. I accept defeat. Do with me as you please. I'm also curious, why did you abduct the manager? If you wish to know, I will tell you. It started when a mysterious hole opened up in my world, and I fell into this human place. It happened so suddenly, I was badly hurt when I landed. The pain was so bad I could barely move, but I crawled along the ground to find help. Just when I thought I was about to die, I reached a human hospital. There was no one around. I only found out later that I was at the rear entrance, but I thought I had finally found help. I mustered every last ounce of strength to call out, Help! If this is a hospital, please help me. A man answered. Do you know what he said? We're full to capacity with human patients. We can't treat Digimon. It's your fault we're in this mess in the first place. Oh. Rip. Luckily, someone else came to my aid. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here now. But I cannot forget the look of disgust on, the, on, this, er, on his face. That feeling. No human can understand. The feelings of or the feeling of finding yourself in a strange world and begging for help, only to be ignored and prepared to, to die alone. That's why I made up my mind to make this man feel exactly what I felt back then. So I called him to the room and used the same spell he cast on you to bring him here. Sorry, I admit it, I did it. Help me. Uh have you learned your lesson? I there was nothing I could do. 
You're okay for now, but we need you to get out of here soon. Otherwise, I fear you'll reach a psychological breaking point due to your traumatic experience in this strange place. But you don't seem too agitated. You're very unusual. Human. Do you think I should let this man go? Yeah. I've unlocked the logout zone. You can go back to the human world now. Can't find a rough time as to how long crows will remain, but they will remain for, but studies say at least a year? Damn. I've lifted the spell. Go back to your world. I do not know if someone like this is capable of mending his ways, but I will let him go out of respect for you coming to save him. You thought I hate humans? Not exactly. I know some humans are kind. After the hospital, I managed to crawl to a park bench. Just as I was about to lose consciousness, a human came to help me. I was only semi-conscious, so I don't remember their face or where they went afterwards. I wish there was a way to thank them. Why am I telling you all this? I do not intend to say any more. Go now. You know, you could just make a post online to probably find the person. It seems to work pretty well for most other people. I hope you meet that person again. Misconnection section. I can't thank you enough for saving me. Are you sure you're okay? I'm still tired, but I'll find, uh... Uh, I'll be fine once I've had some rest. I've taken some days off. I haven't had a vacation for a long while. The hospital's been so busy, I couldn't find the time. Sorry, but I have to go. The doctor wants to check me over. Hang on. Do you think I can help out here? Oh? Yeah, that's what I was looking for you. I'm a Digimon from another world, just like Kuzuhamon. I'm kind of a doctor, but for Digimon. I can understand why you said you, uh, what you did to Kuzuhamon. There are difficult times, but for the humans who have suddenly found themselves sharing their world with Digimon, and for the Digimon trapped here, I want to do something to make a difference in this world. You don't need to pay me. If you're short-staffed, uh, how about letting me help out? Come back in the afternoon, three days from now. That's when I return to work. I'll give you my answer then. Thanks, human. I don't think I could have uh, rescued him if it wasn't for you. Uh, well, I don't think I would have gotten out of that if it wasn't for you, so... Maybe. If it wasn't for me, you'd still be a mouse trapped again. Exactly! <laughs> There's a lot I still need to learn about this world. Do you think people would be willing to see a Digimon doctor? I'm thinking working at a big hospital like this is the best way for me to use the medicine I've learned to help Digimon and humans. But I don't know how open people would be to the idea of a Digimon working at a human hospital. That's why I decided to go straight to the manager. Do you think that's weird? No, of course not. You're honest. By the way, what's your name, human? Kisuke, I see. I still don't know how useful my medicine knowledge will be, or if I'll even be allowed to work here. But I want to study human medicine, and hopefully I can go on to serve everyone. I better get going. Bye for now, Kisuke. Aww, what a sweet guy. I knew you were the man for the job. Thanks for giving the manager back in one piece. The doctor gave him a once-over. Everything seems fine. He's at home resting now. I'm sure he'll be back to, uh, at work in no time. One of his colleagues dropped by to check on him, and uh, he said something like, I want us to start accepting everyone in need, even Digimon. I wonder if something happened to him. No, our character is definitely not the brightest bulb. He, he definitely misses a few things. <laughs> anyway, this case is closed, thanks to you. The payment's pretty low considering you saved someone's life. Sorry about that. I hope I can still count on you in the future. Of course you can, Yoshi. You're a great guy. I'll always help you out. BBS. Yoink. Hacker rank up. I'm an elite hacker now. Look at me go. Uh, I can't remember if anyone's ready to Digivolve, so we're just going to double check. Digivolve. Uh, no, we're trying to get you. How are your stats looking? Your HP is so fucking far off. 30 attack, 150 speed. Yeah, your stuff is way off. Hopefully we can get you there. Oh, you just need to be level 30. Okay.
Oh wait a minute, it was uh it was it was Kendo Garurumon, wasn't it? Yeah, we need a Kendo Garurumon's can to be up. Okay. Let's move him then. Oops. Uh oh we don't have space, we'll just switch him out for Lady Devimon for now. Item Brand chip. Kendo. Now let's feed him a bunch of stuff. Uh, no, we want to be over here. Or we can also set these guys to do some more training. Okay, Island 4, I think is where it was at, right? No, it was Island 3. Oh, that's not the one I meant to feed you, but sure. I'll just feed you this one. Come on, eat it, you little bitch. Oh good, he ate the big meat. Was that it? Damn it. Got nothing else to give him. Uh, Kendo stats. <laughs> it only got up to 22, fuck. <laughs> so we still a long way to go for that. I'm also just kind of waiting for this to end so I can reset them. Uh, I think we can sell. Here's ones, allies by 20% for five. Oh no, it's only turn based stuff. Don't care for this. Uh, no, I'll hold on to those. stuff except for these all right what can we buy Ooh, we can buy best meat exciting meat feed the drastically increases cam on rare occasions feed that greatly increases ham so i get more or less How many can I buy for you? I can only buy five of those. I feel that there's unaddressed ethical issues in having items that uh, change a Digimon's personality? Nah. Of course not. Absolutely nothing wrong with doing that. Uh, develop something for a thousand yen. Good luck, guys. Do 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 do. Where are you at? There you are. Uh, oops, no, wrong button. That button. Eat. No, eat him. Eat him, you son of a bitch. <laughs> son of a bitch only ate two of them. But he got 40 cam out of it, so it puts him at 62. Which isn't bad. He's almost there. Alrighty, last BBS. Oh no, we got another one. Uh, very uh, Paldramons are in Eden now. Use dumb battle. Sure, let's just do that one. Get it out of the way. Just an automatic domination battle, so it just puts us in it. Uh, let's take... Limon, Rinamon, Belzimon. Let's take Belzimon. Melzimon and let's take Mariyoshi again. Cause who doesn't love the old man? It's like a father figure to us. Uh, wipe out the enemy team. Okay, so this one is any points we grab or just extra strength. These take so long, I wish I could speed this up. Wait, 
why are my guys injured? Doesn't make much sense. <clears throat> Alrighty, first fight. Is he gonna come get us or is he gonna go to the side? No, he's gonna go to the side. Motherfucker. Alright, now we should get into our first fight. So who's Mario Yoshi got? Bergermon. Wait, what? He doesn't have Gardermon anymore? Uh, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, that's all foes? We don't want an all foe one. We just want, uh, one foe one. Ooh, that did, like, nothing. Uh, all foes, one foe, one foe. This one, then. Hi, Bar Cannon. Yeah, Mario, she's more just gonna hold him back until we can get in there. Now the question is, can we kill this pile drum on in one turn? Normally I would say no, but we might be able to, based on that damage. Ooh, it's actually gonna be a decently rough one. Can you do that much damage? Nope. That was close though. Super close. Now I'm assuming Piledramon's gonna attack one of us, which we should be able to finish him off. Oh yeah, he's attacking us. We'll be able to finish him off after this. Do basic attacks. Okay, maybe I won't do basics. Okay, now we're good. Alrighty, Belzimon, can you do this on your own? One shot him. Eight for twenty? Sure. Let's do it. Oh fuck. Wasn't able to one shot him, but he definitely did a good amount of damage. The issue is with that attack, he also hurts himself a bit. Still worth it though. Who are you going for? Oh, you're just gonna go for extra points. It's the first time I've seen them do that before. Normally they just go and attack people. Yoshi, come on, man, you gotta do more damage than that. Took you two turns to get him down halfway. Oh, it's his turn now, so he's probably gonna attack you. So the question is, do I want the main guy to help out Belzimon, or do I want him to go help out Matayoshi? Probably get him to do Belzimon. Oh, maybe actually because of that I might actually do uh, this one now. Yeah, Matayoshi's not going to be able to finish him in one more turn. So yeah, we'll go help out Matayoshi. Oh shit, actually, we're not close enough to go help him, are we? Eh, uh, screw yeah, we'll just move up here. Belzimon, let's go! Double impact! 
Oh fuck, that was so close. You're just a tiny bit off. Hopefully he attacks us. Come on, attack us, attack us. No, you're supposed to attack us. Alrighty, Mario, she finishes off. Come on. Going strong. Okay, I don't think you're gonna finish this. Oh, fuck, you did. Damn. Go, Matayoshi. I'm not even gonna use specials, I'm just gonna wail on them. I'll praise the tank, the only one doing work pretty fucking much. <laughs> pretty fucking much. And with that, we win that battle. Victory! Shit, 17,000 experience. <clears throat> Is that it? Not much of a challenge. When you asked me for help, I thought I was in for some fun, but that was a disappointment. Although, I'm sure your Digimon would make worthy opponents. Of course, they still wouldn't stand a chance against me. I'll soon get bored of easy fights like this. Hurry up and get stronger. Uh... Aw, oh, really? I don't know you enough uh, to give you that much help. Just uh, fight more and get stronger. But I might give you some pointers if I'm ever in the mood. You can have this. Throw it away if you don't want it. Power pines, nice. I'll gladly take power pines. Okay, so it sounds like my other farmer's now done, so we'll swing in there. Ba, ba, ba. Nice, five uh, capsule A's. Okay, I don't have any money really for you guys to do anything, so you can go do an investigation. Alrighty, last mission. Alright, round and round and round we go. When we stop, you will know. Can you guess? Can you guess who's behind you? Hmm. Yochin? Wrong. Satomin? Nope. Riku? Shoten? We've had so many chances. Uh, Michan? Maybe Tomochi or Yuki? Then it must be Gomahe. said everyone's name, but you didn't get it. Come on. I don't know. Give up. Look behind you. What? What? Okay, sure. And that's what happened. Yes, what is it? I think she's wondering what you were talking about. Was that a monster? How rude, I'm Erica's partner, Digimon. Sorry, you startled me. I heard you hackers use some unusual programs, but I never expected anything like this. I'm Wernmon, pleased to meet ya. Erica's not much of a talker. Kisuke and I will talk to you instead. Fine by me. As much as we enjoyed listening to your reminiscence, we still don't know anything about the case. Can you explain it in more detail? Yes, I'll give you as much information as I can. What I'm about to tell you wasn't a hallucination, it really happened. It happened in Eden. I'm sure you'll look back fondly on your childhood and enjoy meeting up with your old friends, but, uh, don't you? 
Sure. Of course you do, but I've never been to a reunion. I don't have pleasant memories of my elementary school, junior high school, or high school. Even so, I had some really good friends in the first few years of elementary school. We all used to meet up after school. There were nine of us. Looking back now, we all had uh, quite different upbringings. Or difficult upbringings. That's why we got along so well. Boy or girl, it didn't matter. And during summer vacation, we'd go to all sorts of places together. Parks, forests, alleyways. I've been thinking about the... Why alleyways? What? Okay. I've been thinking about the uh, those days a lot. But I didn't think I'd ever see any of them again. Even if I could remember their faces, I'd forgotten their names. We all used nicknames, you see. Yochin, uh, Satomin, Riku, Shotan, Michan, Tomochi, Yuki, and Gomahe. I was Kenchan, because my real name's Ken uh, Akao. No band, I definitely did not hang out in alleyways of all places. <laughs> But I couldn't remember any of their real names. Maybe I never even knew their names. The only things I remembered were the general location of the club we used to go to, and the years we went there. My nostalgia drove me to do some digging, and I found the name of the club. It has a social media community, and groups for different generations. I joined up, and found five of my friends. The six of us spent hours talking about the old times. One of them still lives in the area. He managed to track down the other three and invited them to join us. All nine of us were finally back together again. Chatting online wasn't enough, but we were all reluctant to meet up in the real world. But these are amazing times we live in. Now we have a place where people like uh, us can reunite. The Eden Cyberspace. We decided to meet up again, but as our childhood sh uh, selves, and play like we did back in those days. Hang on, I thought people weren't allowed to use avatars that didn't uh, don't look like their real selves. That hasn't been... Er, that hasn't been made law yet, but it, it's in the Eden terms of use. I know we're breaking the rules, but... Relax, we're in no position to complain about you modifying your avatars. It's not as if we haven't broken a few rules in our time. I assume that's why you've come to us instead of the police or Kamishiro. That's right. I hope you understand my situation. Meeting up as children is the only way that has any meaning to me, to all of us. I modified the avatars myself. I used to have a job doing something similar. Then what? Tell us the rest of your story already. It was amazing. We met every weekend. We didn't talk about work or boring stuff like that. We just relived our childhood. We climbed trees, played hide and seek, pinball. Because it's cyberspace, we could recreate any place we wanted. We could visit places we always wanted to as children but couldn't. Then we went back to our secret base, and the thing I mentioned earlier happened. We were playing a game where I had to guess who was standing behind me. They gave me lots of chances, but it was so strange. I kept guessing until all eight of their names until I said all eight of their names, but they still said I was wrong. I thought they were teasing me, so I took the blindfold off. When I turned around, the person there didn't have a face. Why are you so frightened? You've heard this part already. It's the way he tells it. It's so scary. And a person with no face? That's scary no matter how many times you hear it. It must be a ghost. A cyberspace ghost. Says the digital monster. May I continue? It had no eyes, no nose, no mouth, nothing. I'm ashamed to admit it, but it really shook me up and I logged out without saying anything to the others. What happened? Who was it? That's all I want to know. I want you to find out. Please, will you help me? <sighs> Did you start by maybe asking your friends if they were playing a prank on you? You know, like, I get that you were scared and it creeped you out and whatnot, but maybe instead of hiring somebody to figure it out for you, your first step should be like, hey guys, you know that creepy no-faced person that you had standing behind me? Who was that? And then if you don't get your answers, then you can hire somebody. Shut up and take his money. <laughs> what do you think? It sounds interesting. You took the case. You decide. Then let's do it. Great. <coughs> oh, that came out of nowhere. I'll take your case. Leave it to us. Thank you. I'll be waiting to hear from you. What do you make of it, Kisuke? It must be a ghost. It must be an Eden bug. Uh, well, no, the Eden bug is currently sitting in front of us, so it's got to be a ghost. Why would there be a ghost in cyberspace? Don't talk nonsense. Erica, you should be in charge of this investigation. Data analysis is your specialty. 
I'll start by checking the recordings from when the client and his friends met in Eden. Sounds like they met multiple times. I'll extract some of the footage. Hmm. It just looks like a bunch of kids playing. Have you noticed something? I think I know what's going on here. Do you? Do you really, Erica? We're here. So this is where you meet your friends, huh? What's wrong? I wonder how they'll react when they find out uh, I brought outsiders to our secret base. We're here to investigate for you. Or should we stop? No, I'll explain it to them. Please carry on. Just as I thought. I want to ask them about what happened during the game. Okay, if you say so, Erica. Kenjon, what happened last time? We were so worried when you left in such a rush. Sorry, I wasn't feeling very well. Hmm? Who were they? There's something they want uh, to ask you. Isn't that right, Erica? Who was standing behind him when he left the game? Hmm, who was it? I was so surprised when he suddenly rushed to the lockout zone. We don't uh, remember clearly. Oh, sorry about that. Do you remember who was behind him? It was someone with no facial features, wasn't it? Uh, it was... Um, who was it now? Huh? What was that? There's nothing. That's all I wanted to ask. Thanks. Okay. Kencha, looks like everyone's here. What shall we play today? Huh? Who are they? And is that a bug? So I'm going to take a guess here at the fact that this is an area that Buddy has set up himself. Um, whether he remembers it or not, or something's interfering with it, but these are all just digital people. Oh. Well, in the sense of there, there, it's not an avatar being controlled by somebody. It's literally just a program of some sort, or Digimon, or whatever. That, that's gonna be my guess. But I'm not a bug. I'm a wormmon. By the way, we want to ask you something. You said everyone's here, but isn't there anyone out of place? Hmm? It's the usual bunch, right, Kencha? That's right. No mistake. What was that? The reaction. Hmm. What was that noise just now? Oh, what's going on here? Immon. Uh oh. Max level. Hey, do you know these people? We promised we wouldn't bring any outsiders, or have you forgotten? I'm sorry, but I have a good reason. It was your idea. You said outsiders would ruin our memories. You just left without saying anything last time. That was pretty rude. Yeah, it's, it's it's gonna be an area that's set up of his memories. We've seen a few places like this already, so... These are all just digital uh, animations of his memories. Is what I'm, what I'm gonna say it is. That's my final guess. What the rest do you do after the game? You mean after Kenshon left? Since Kenshon was gone, we decided to call it a day. Nope, ghosts. <laughs> what was that? Turn to stare. Say something. I see. Erica, did you do that? Kind of. Hmm. It's just as I thought. Is it? Is it just as you thought? I've heard all I need to know. Have you two figured it out? You mean who the faceless person was? I have no idea. Mr. Akko, I'll ask your friends and find out who the faceless person was. We just tried doing that, though. Hey, Kenshin, what's going on? Why have you brought these strangers here? This is our space. We agreed. We're hackers. Sorry to intrude. We'll be gone as soon as we finish up here. Kenshin, what's all this about? Sorry to break my promise, but I need to find out the truth so that we can keep playing together. I have to know who the faceless person standing behind me during the game was. Huh? Faceless person? Right, that's what we're here to determine. Faceless person? Kenshin, you must have been mistaken. No, it was clear as day. I turned around and there was someone with no face standing right there. Look around. There's no one like that. It's not here now, but I saw it. It must have something to do with the distortions I saw. So everyone here now is the same as during the game, correct? Think back. Isn't there a discrepancy between Mr. Akko's account and the current situation? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten of them there. Hold closely. Notice anything else? Uh, there are more people here now. Yeah. Why are there ten people? Let me see. Yochin, Gomehe, Sato, Riku. There are nine of us, but the video shows ten. What's going on? Exactly. There should be nine of you. Now count how many of you there are. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. This can't be. There's... There's... Ten of us. Really? No shit. Adults don't know how to count to ten? Holy fuck. Correct. There's someone here you don't know. How's that possible? We reserve this area through the proper channels. No one can just wander in. A hacker of Erica's skill wouldn't find it difficult, and it might not be a hacker. But we all know each other. We'd know if there was someone here who shouldn't be. You've been tricked by a shapeshifter. Have you figured out how the shapeshifter joined them without anyone noticing? Uh, by using a hologram? Sure. You saw the video. The nine people in the circle were holding hands during the game. I guess, yeah, holograms aren't physical. Herp derp. Wouldn't be able to hold hands. <laughs> Everyone, take a good look at your bodies. What's this? Come on, hey, your face is messed up. Weechun, there's noise all over you. Eric, are you doing this? What's going on? Don't worry, they won't cause any harm. I'll make them go back to normal. Did you do that before? Yes, I did, uh, I did to make the distortions on your avatars easier to see. The noise you just saw is the fake parts on your bodies, copies of the, the child parts you used to make your avatars. What exactly do you mean? The shapeshifter took body parts from each of your nine avatars and used them to make a new human avatar. Then it replaced those parts with copies. I see, because it made the avatar from familiar parts, we mistook it for one of us. I don't think that's quite how that works, but sure. But it has the ability to create copy parts, why make an avatar from our parts? <clears throat> right, it would have been much easier to make an avatar just by using the copy parts, right? As you saw just now, the copies aren't very noticeable on each of your avatars. But if you look closely, they're not like the real parts. That's why it used real parts from each of you instead of making an avatar entirely from copy parts. That allowed it, uh, that allowed it to go unnoticed. And so none of you noticed there was a tenth person. The reason I could see the distortion so easily when none of you could is because I, I didn't know any of you. Only someone in your group of friends would may, uh, mistake the imposter for one of you. That's what happened. You, you're you being very quiet. Are you following this? Sure. Are you sure? Let's see. If I apply noise to the copied avatar parts, can you tell me who the imposter is? Uh, the in-person with no noise. That's right. You have to do some of the work. You're the one who took the case, after all. Well, if you make them all noisy, I can figure it out. Okay, it's none of them. It's none of them. It's the boy in the end. You're the imposter. Show your true form. <laughs> it just removes his face. Oh, it's Impmon! <laughs> now to steal some uh, different parts and change my disguise again. Who could this avatar be? Just like a game of hide and seek. <laughs> now I wonder if he's actually going to be difficult to fight. Oh shit, he actually is going to be difficult to fight. He's a fucking rookie level Digimon and he's got some decent fucking health. Oh, okay, he's not going to be that difficult. Yeah, they should finish him off. Boop. Okay, I surrender. Please forgive me, I just wanted to play. I only disguised myself because I thought they'd be scared of my true form. I wasn't going to hurt anyone, but you trespassed on our memories. Why did you do it? I don't have any memories of playing with friends. I got jealous watching them. 
What should we do? Uh, put a stop to it. Hang on. I don't see a problem. Kencha? We had fun, didn't we? He's one of us now. Are you sure? Yeah, you can play with us. Thank you. I don't mind. But in your true form, no more disguises. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Aw, aren't they all sweet? Let's go. <clears throat> thank you so much. We just took your case and solved it. Even so, I'm still grateful. We've made a new friend thanks to you. Come on, Kencha. They're calling you. You better go. Okay, thanks again. How sweet. Erica doesn't have any memories of playing with friends like that. She's a little jealous of them. We can help her make some memories. Good idea. There's still time. Let's help her make lots of great memories. I can hear everything you're saying. Yeah, you're damn right you can. Don't talk about embarrassing stuff like that. And I guess uh, the type of rambunctiousness, crazy, er, rambunctious crazy memories you have in mind. Although, it could be fun. Aww, sweet. Check it. What happens when you equip a Digimon with an accessory? It becomes immune to a normal status. It looks cool. It weakens attribute attacks. It looks cool. Accessories just uh, are that. Accessories. There are equipable items that do increase strength and whatnot, but they are not accessories. Okay, training's almost done. It's good to know. Do 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 Okay, your attack has made it. You still need HP and defense. Both of which are getting close. You need 200 defense. You still got a long way off for that, but HP is getting there. You still need all your stats. You just need to be level 30. Uh, can you make it that? 70 SP, 85 int. 85 int. Not doable, so... We'll do this, and then we'll backtrack. <clears throat> now, I'm not saying it's doable, but it's at least a little closer. You're probably going to go to Talmon. Do 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 New Maimon, no we want to go to Black King Numemon. I know Imp Mom was ready, wasn't he? Dracomon. Oh we need to clear Hacker's memory for that one. Uh Five. We could potentially, but now nah, I'm gonna give him Raramon. Let's see what's going on on this path. What's that thing again? Skull Satamon. Uh, do we want to go Vegemon? Screw it. Let's see what's along the Vegemon route. Nothing useful. Okay, so I'm gonna go Wizardmon simply because I think this is the path I want. Then from Wizardmon, I think we want to go Myotismon. The issue though is we need 10 ABI to go to Myotismon. So we'll probably go to somebody else first and then backtrack if I remember properly. That's the big issue, is if I remember. Caramon. All right, I will be right back. Just give me a quick second.
Alrighty, I'm back. What's going on here? Correct a mundo. Is that it? Told me I had three things. Okay, so let's see what the next part is. I've done all those missions, so. What's gonna pop up next? <clears throat> I guess BBS doesn't have anything particularly important right now. Maybe it's time to ask Mirai what's afoot. Mirai! Uh, oh my, look at the face. You must be lost? I think so. There's a boy at Shibuya Station's underground entrance who has something to ask you. Go and see him, although he might be slightly annoyed. So, Shibuya Station's underground entrance. Oh, an acquaintance of mine wants your help with something, although, no, it's nothing. Go to the Shibuya intersection and see for yourself. Okay. So, Shibuya intersection and Shibuya underground. Let's go. Oh fuck yeah, that actually surprised me. I forgot about the fact they're able to come out now. Okay, Shibuya. What's at the intersection? Hello. Hmm. She loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not. Hey, aren't you Chitose's prodigy? You look like a nice guy. You don't mind if I tell you about my problems, do you? It's a long story, and if I tell you, you have to promise you'll help. Then I should submit a case to Hudi? I guess cyber sleuths need to do things by the book, I understand. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Yasu, from the Rebels. I'll submit my case right away. Alright, so where's the other underground now? Restricted? Well, that's just rude. Oh wait, was that... Oh no, there it is. There's a little exclamation point up there. <clears throat> a yoink? What was that? Maybe I'm just hearing things. Hear of a curse. To see worse. Hey, it's this chick. When feel down you go. You low, down must go. At the bottom, hidden world. Oh god, there's more than one. But thee who finds there. Aren't I the only one here? Oh shit, there's three of them. Four of them. For if you only despair, you meet. Okay. Wh whatever you say. Unlucky. She touched his butt. We will take you. Be strong. Hey, that chick. Ralhalza missile egg. I'm not even gonna try. You. Great. I was just in time. What was that spell? Would you believe me if I said it was a spell to eradicate evil? I'm actually an exorcist, but no one knows. It looks like uh, the girl knows your face. You should be okay for now, but you need to do something soon. You can help me out. You're a handyman, are you? I'll submit a case. See you later. Okay then. Whatever you say, missy. Whatever you say. Got two new cases then. There's a lion running across the street down here. I have no idea if I can actually interact with it. I'm gonna try. I saw it in the distance on the other screen. Is it here? Okay, no, it doesn't appear to want to run across the street. Never mind then. Never mind. Oh wait, no, we went up here. Alrighty, what do we got? <laughs> BBS. What is his? I need your help protecting Digimon. I need to be a tougher member of the Rebels to face that person I like. Friendship DX, that's not bad. What do you give me? 
Ooh, a memory up. Do hers last. Let's do this one first. Oh, you're here. Kisuke, over here, over here. Thanks so much for agreeing to help. Yasusu told me you, uh, told me. You'll be tongue-tied, that's what I am. You'll help protect the Digimon. Thank you. You know that certain events have uh, resulted in lots of Digimon coming to this world, right? Then you know that there's been a lot of trouble between Digimon and humans. This is where us rebels can help. Our, all our members are out protecting the lost Digimon. And there are lots of terrified Digimon out there. And we're really short-handed. Nokia, Nokia, let's go! Some Digimon are in trouble. Calm down, don't panic. More speed, less waste. Right? I, can, I think it's actually more haste, less speed. Yasusu, you explain the rest to him. Make sure he knows all the ins and outs of our mission. No problem, I won't let you down. By the way, as I've told you so many times before, it's not Yasusu, it's Yasu. Of course I know that, Yasusu. Okay, gotta go! God damn it, Nokia. Ahem. Basically, what she said. It's not much of an explanation. You like Nokia, don't you? Call him out on it. Yeah, I do. What's wrong with that? She's uh, the beautiful pink carnation of the Rebels. She's so lovely. As Miss Akino just explained, the Rebels are protecting the Digimon. And we're not actually doing a very good job. If I can pull out all the stops and protect 100 Digimon, Miss Akino will surely be impressed. And then one day, she'll fall in love with me. But I don't know anything about Digimon battles. I can't do anything to protect them. Just the thought of running into one of those rampaging Digimon fills me with fear. I'm not cut out for all this. That's why I want you to help protect the Digimon in Shibuya. That's my case. Please say you'll do it. Sure. Now let's go. Let's do this for Miss Aquino. Okay, so what are we gonna protect? Oh, I see a thing of Majigger over there. Excuse me. Air is restricted. Then how am I supposed to go help them? Uh oh. If the area is restricted, how am I supposed to get to that guy to help him? Seems counterproductive. Can't go down there. Can we go this way? What's over here? Get anything good to sell? Ooh, no. Just equipment stuff. Oops. Just equipment stuff. Oh no, that's a map. We don't want a map. Oh, a herp derb. I'm a I'm a dummy. Stealth mode, go. Yoink. Stay away from me, human. I'll bite you if you come any closer. If you leave this Digimon alone, it might hurt someone. It's okay. I won't hurt you. Don't worry. Yikes, this one's dangerous. Huh? Gaumon? What? Are you with this human? He's okay? He takes care of you? He's a bit of a bonehead, but he's super nice for a human and gives you tasty food. Gaumon, is that what you think of me? You're making me blush. So you're not a dangerous human? I heard about scary humans from other Digimon, so I didn't want to lower my guard. I'm sorry. So do you want? I'll hear you out. Really? Yeah, great work, Galmon. We did it. He listened to me. Whoa. I told him about the place where we're keeping the Digimon safe, and he said I'll go and take a look. Miss Kino is going to be so impressed. The Digimon around here should be fine uh, now. Let's move on to Akihabara. What was going on? Pop quiz! Where is the old man who buys Digimon medals? There's a dude that buys medals? Uh... uh Nakano? Didn't even realize there was a dude that bought medals. Hey, you two, what are you doing? Hey, you say that again. Fine, I will. I'm stronger than you. My punch is 100 times stronger than yours. You punch like a little kid. Shut up. I'm way stronger than you. My punch is 1,000 times stronger than yours. You punch like a wuss. What the? Huh? 
Looks like they are arguing about who's stronger. We have to stop them. By which I mean you have to stop them. Huh? Me? No way. Absolutely impossible. Galmon and I don't stand a chance against strong Digimon like them. You know, you're not going to get stronger if you just sit back like that. You should really get in there and do something. I know. How about whoever takes out these humans first is the strongest? Sounds fun. I'm in. Bring it on, humans. <laughs> okay, this human will do. Galmon and I are no match for them. Fighting us won't settle their dispute. They'll just uh, start arguing again. I'll support you from over there. You got this. Well, aren't you nice helping me out in such a great way? Here goes. There's no way you'll beat me, Ga uh, Gazimon. Don't be so sure of yourself, Gotamon. Do this. Uh, not super effective against either of them, so let's just go for you. Oh, he's asleep. Perfect. Godzimon! Ooh, fuck. Half your health in one hit. Gotta love it when half your team's half asleep. Half, or half asleep. Gotta love it when half your team is asleep. English, please. And... Oh, he woke up. Rip. <clears throat> Ooh, this should be enough to kill him, I think. I think, I think. Hey, 1400 damage. Should just be able to poke him to death now. <clears throat> Oh yeah. He, he's so strong. What now? Neither of us won. I think we'd help. We're protecting Digimon. There's a place where all the Digimon that have found themselves in this world uh, can seek refuge. If you go there, you can fight to your heart's content. Huh? Is there really such a place? There might be some uh, even stronger Digimon there. It could be fun. Okay, human. We'll check it out. Tell us where it is. Are you sure you really want to send Digimon that are like wanting to just punch each other out? Doesn't sound like the smartest plan. Oh yeah, nice work, Kisuke. Thanks to you, we just protected two more Digimon. Miss Akino finds out she's gonna. What's up, Kisuke? You should be happy. They'll never win Okia and Nokia like this. What do you expect me to do? I'm not strong like you. I'm weak. Get it? Weak. I'm the weakest member of the Rebels. I can't even protect Digimon. I'm useless. You think I don't know how pathetic I am? Galmon, where are you going? I feel sorry for Galmon. You, you're right. I never looked at it like that. I have to apologize to Galmon, Kisuke. Then go apologize. Don't talk to me about it. I oh, know Galmon's over there. Being attacked by two Digimon. Uh oh. Hey, did that Digimon just bump into my Woodmon? Yeah, I'm sorry, it was an accident. You should, uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. You should look where you're going. Yeah. Eek, I said I'm sorry, please forgive me. Now nah, you need to learn your lesson. Woodmon, attack, make it pay. Eek. What are you doing here, eh? Get out of here. Oh, so you want some too, huh? Fine by me. How many of you are there? You're like a swarm of flies. Come on, really? Even after what I said? Get out of here. Go for it, Yasu. Come on, Gaumon, let's fight and save uh, whatever that name was. I'm Yasu from the Rubbles. Anyone who picks on Digimon will have to answer to me. Gonna enjoy this. Come on, bring it. Oh, we're fighting this buddy. Well, shit. Well, that's good. Put one of them to sleep. 
Defense down, you son of a bitch. How dare you. Oh fuck, I was hoping we'd be able to knock one of them out. Oh, 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 I gotta stop yelling, but the son of a bitch just dotted me. Um, sprite? Yeah, it removes dot. Oh no! I'm clicking things that I didn't mean to click. Come back! Alrighty. I'm gonna dot her? Yep. Oh, and you're confused. Fuck. Uh, based on this, I'll actually. Eh, no, screw it. We'll just keep putting damage in. <laughs> Eventually, they'll die. Can you dot yourself? Yes, you can. Okay, good. Ripping net. Oh, you're awake, damn it. You were supposed to stay asleep. Dot the dots. <laughs> I actually need to pick up a few more of those, I just ran out. <clears throat> Mature poo? Oh god. That is definitely not something we want to see. Uh, poison, is that a big deal? <laughs> <sighs> oh shoot, we can just do this. <clears throat> oh, that's only for defense, never mind. I figured we'd get rid of all the other stuff. Would you rather immature poop? That's a good question. Both of those are very bad. I'm not actually sure which one I'd prefer. See if we can put you to sleep again. Nope. This potentially could kill the middle guy, though. Yeah. Nash is rude. Putting both our speed and our defense down. Not happening. Seriously, again? Uh, let's get rid of this guy. Potentially get rid of him, I should say. Not guaranteed, but hopefully. <clears throat> hey, one shot, one kill. Oh, Dynamon, you're not doing good. That poison is really ripping through you. Oh shit, that actually might kill you. Haha, I did! The first death I've had in a while. Numemon OP. <laughs> to be completely honest, Platinum Numemon is massively OP. <clears throat> in the original one, you wanted a, a team of three Platinum Numemons. And then six people in your reserve party, and it just cranked out levels like they were nothing. Which is why I currently have a handful of people trying to get to Platinum Numemon. I can't, can't believe it. How could a hacker be that strong? Hey, Galmon. Okay, okay, you win. Yikes. If you pick on uh, Digimon ever again, we'll come down on you like a ton of bricks. Okay, I won't, I swear. I'm glad we're on the same page. Now get out of my sight. Kisuke, that was absolutely terrifying. I had to muster every ounce of courage. But uh, Gaomon is the real hero. Nice work, Yasusu. Oh, that was uh, Nokia. Ah, Miss Akino, what are you doing here? That's not important. As the leader of the rebels, I'm everywhere. 
That sounds a little sinister. Forget that. I can't believe the way you handled the, the tough looking hacker. It was awesome. It was me. It was Galmon that was awesome. I'm sorry what I, about what I said, Galmon. I should never have blamed you for my weakness. I let you down as a tamer. Yes, yeah, Suzu. Don't be so glum. Look. Thank you for saving me just now. Huh? Don't thank me. Thank Galmon. I already did. He said your determination inspired him to stand and fight. The way you stand up to that scary man was so cruel. See? Your love clearly got through to your Digimon. My master got mad at me once. Uh, I felt like I was just a... Da -ba -da -ba -ba. I felt like I, had, I was just incidental to my Digimon and didn't bother to let them know how I feel. But a tamer never faces a fearsome opponent alone. If you and your Digimon stand... Er, it's you and your Digimon side by side. So grow stronger with your Digimon. Then you'll become the Yasusu I always know you could be. Yeah, Miss Akino. You're right. This is the beginning of a new chapter for me and Galmon. Betamon can now return to manning their store. <laughs> oh shit, Galmon did evolved. Huh? Galmon has become a Gao Galmon? Gao Gamon? Yeah, that would be a Gao Gamon. Congratulations! Your feelings had a direct effect on your Digimon. <laughs> I just love the moment when a Digimon digivolves. It's like the instant when a human heart and a Digimon heart become one. That is all Betamon will ever be to me, the storekeeper in Digimon World. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sadly, he's not the storekeeper in uh, Next Order. Next Order, the current uh, shopkeeper for items is Tentamon and uh, Galatmon. Is that his name? Terramon's Digivolve uh, form, the thing with the, the guns on his hands. I knew I know you and Galgamon will go on to do great things. <clears throat> Miss Aquino, wait and see. For you, I'm going to become amazingly strong. So when I do get stronger, I'll want a reward, huh? Okay. What do you want? Of course, what I want is a ki ki ki. Ouch! What was that for, Galgamon? I bet you had something strange in mind. Gross. Uh, you and Galgamon are like uh, like a sweet couple. Come on, don't say that. There's only one person I want to be with. But, but, and... ah, poor buddy. We did have one thing for him, but we couldn't help him with the other. Wow, you got it. The answer is not... Okay, so the dude not gonna know. Damn it, everyone is max level. Good to know. Excuse me. I need to go home. Actually, can I get the map from here? No, I can't. I need to go home. I have stuff I gotta do. Actually, I can... Also go to Digilab from here. Digilab. Oh shit, everybody's on standby. Command, train, go. Command, train, go. Farm Island. Command. Not, it's not what I wanted. Develop. And develop. So they've got a thousand yet because I don't have the money to do anything else. <clears throat> Can we convert? No, we can't. Okay. How are you doing? You still need defense and HP. HP's getting there, but it's still low. Defense. What, 200? And you're currently 164, so you still got a long way to go for that. Your speed is there, but you still need attack of 130 and HP of 1150. Attack of 130, that is real low. Okay, that's gonna be rough. Doable, but rough. There's Andrew Woman. Party has exceeded the limit. Uh oh. Uh, it's actually gonna be a while before I can get Oryumon to the thing that he needs to be, so I'm gonna take him out. So you need attack of 120 and level 60. Whoops. Oh, I haven't had an Ophanimon. Huh. Uh, you don't really matter, though, as long as we get the other stuff. Your cam does need to be 100%, though. So for you, we just need your cam to increase. Actually, that's pretty much all we need from you as well. So you're pretty much done. We could just take you out of the party. 
Yeah, let's do that. We, let's just take uh, Blackmore Greymon out. I need this cam to stay up though, shoot. So I need the uh, you and there's you. You two need to stay out of the first two because they are uh they will put your cam down. Otherwise though, the rest of you can stay in the party for now. Take a look at everybody else. Devimon. Speaking of good at Ice Devimon. And from here, you can go somewhere else. Fill the team with people that can give me Platinum Nume Mons. So, Superstar Mon, into the party. Uh, who else was working on one? Nani Mon, into the party. Nume Mon, into the party. Correct? Yeah, because you'll go to Superstar Mon. You will go to the Black King one. Wait, I didn't put them in the party. What am I doing? Party. Party. Okay, there we go. So then we can get Platinum New Moon on with you. You just need at least 10 ABI. That's all it is. You'll have 10 ABI. And you have 10 ABI. And with those three, we'll be able to get a Platinum Suit Game on this, which will be good. The issue is we don't have the, uh, the, uh, XP items for them. I think a couple of people on my team have them. Yeah, tactical, tactician USBs, we need those. Of which I only have one at the moment. Numimon, Animon, you've become the villains. <laughs> Pretty much. Alrighty, BBS. Oh shit, we got a lot more missions. Oh, these are from Mirai, that's why. Uh, Undercolum level 4. Undercolum level 5. Akihabara. Sure, let's do this one. Didn't mean to do that. Alrighty. Oh, no, that's not the map. Where's my map? <clears throat> map, 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 map. Akihabara. Oh, this is literally where we just were. Any buckos. Right, uh, which server shall I attack today? What do you want? Trying to get in my way? You've got some nerve. Well, maybe you shouldn't be attacking servers then, should you? Did you ever think of that? But you didn't. Ooh. I forgot to recover my people. Rip. This could go a little poorly. Alrighty. 
see. You are going to use a spray B on everybody. And she is going to use a spray B of MP on everybody. There we go. That's better. Ice Wolf Claw! Oh shit, that actually almost got rid of one. <laughs> I feel like the Digimon games would have plots that ended before they started if they just implemented a blanket policy of racial profiling. <laughs> That's not true. Not all bad-looking Digimon are bad. Some of them are good. Just look at that Impmon, for example, before. He is technically a bad Digimon, but he was a good guy. He just wanted the friends. Went about it the wrong way, but had the, the proper feeling and heart. Wait, I'm sorry. I won't attack any more servers. I promise. Just don't report me. Plus, technically, the, the bad guy right now is uh, Ryuji, and he looks like a good guy when he's not pissed off. Fraud and identity theft. <laughs> <coughs> you could also say that uh, Metal Guru Black Metal Gururumon looks like a bad guy, but he's a good guy because he's on my team. That's debatable whether I'm actually a good guy, though. From a story perspective, I am a very good guy. Alright, let's do these ones. Get them out of the way. Kurumons are good guys. Doesn't matter if they're black. <laughs> Under Kowloon level 4. Here we go. I don't know if Kowloon. Under Kowloon. Can we get through that door yet? No, but it's still blocking it. <clears throat> Swim, my fishies, swim. Surprised we didn't get into a battle there. Normally we do. Uh, acceleration, where you at? There you are. Whee! Over here. Do, 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 do. Oh, there they are over there. Can we get to them from here, or do we gotta go from somewhere else? It's over from this side. That's from this away. Don't really care for that noise coming out of there. It's like, uh. Wind charms, but bad. Thanks for being around. It's not much, but I sent you something. Check it out. Aw, oh, well, thank you. Not sure what it was you sent me, and I have no idea how to get it, but I appreciate it. Already, sir, and or madam. I use Digimon to collect info on my favorite actor. I always know exactly where he is and what he's doing. Wind charms can be bad. I can guarantee that. They are beautiful noisemakers, but I have definitely come across bad wind charms. Or wind chimes, I should say. Well, this is going to be easy. Probably going to be a one hit. Yup. But they're inanimate objects. Inanimate objects can still be bad. Doesn't matter. Everything is good and evil. Good or evil, I should say. Some things can be good and evil, but everything is good or evil. And just like that, we win. How could I lose? I thought nothing could uh, come between us. I guess it was a one-way uh, one street. I won't do it again. That's damn right you won't, bitch. Alright, where's my quick way out of here? Export. Dungeon. Let's use export because I only have one home gate. <clears throat> Bye.
Bam. Oh, that was a snap and a half. Alright, and you were Kolu level 5. Kolu... Wait, what? I only have Kolu level 4. The fuck do you mean, game? Oh, I guess I can bust open the wall. Uh, wall crack. A new area opened up. So we came to a new area without even doing it as a part of the story. At what point is your character rushed to hospital from the physical health problems caused by sitting at an internet calf computer 24-7? He doesn't sit there for 24-7, just most of the time. Also, he wouldn't be rushed to the hospital because, as we all know, in uh, Japan, those private rooms do not get checked and people die in them all the time. <clears throat> hacker hint, darkness lies ahead. If you think you're a great hacker, then you know not to underestimate what looks like nothing at all. Eden is just a collection of data. It's easy to forget uh, with the barrage of data sent to Avatar's five senses, but this is not the real world. A place you thought was a path can suddenly become something completely different. Darkness is what lies ahead. If you're a skilled enough hacker to be able to decrypt this log, you should be able to figure out what that really means. Sure. Okay, so there's holes that are going to block us off. Uh, hacker skill visualizer make hidden data visible and detect traps can only be used in an area with traps okay thank you for telling me about this ability after I come across all this stuff Bam. All right, we're gonna get memory up GG Okay, now the question is, is there traps around here? Traps all the way over there. How many hours are you into this game? Uh, that's a good question. Let's see, let's see. I think... I think I have 20 to 30 hours into this one. I think it was between 80 and 90 from my previous game. Because it, it brought over my save file with all my time and whatnot. I think I was between 80 and 90 on the old one. <clears throat> so I think I'm 20 to 30 into this one. As a rough estimate. Mind you, I've also been doing a bunch of the random missions and things like that. And... Yeah! Spending time with the dialogue and training and things like that. So you, you could definitely push through this faster than I have been, but these games are also made to make you spend a lot of time. Destruction. That was rude. Oh, damn. I thought I could kill him with just a normal hit. Apparently not. But yeah, that's one thing I do actually like about the, the Digimon games is they actually have a lot of time that you can invest into them. So it actually makes it worthwhile, unlike other games where you're finished in two hours. Oh, that's not where I want to go. Now, I also don't mind doing some of the tedious stuff in the game. So because of that, <clears throat> or I don't mind doing tedious things in games. So because of that, I actually have fun most of the time. 
why I could see a lot of people getting bored and tired of all the tedious stuff that you'd have to do. Example being like um, Assassin's Creed, having to climb all the towers, gather all the things. All of those stuff you can skip and you don't have to do them. But I'm the type of person that I go through and I do do them pretty much every time. So if on Jeopardy card or on Jeopardy the card displayed Digimon story cyber uh, would the response be what is a time sink or what is grinding? Uh I would say what is a time sink. There there is grinding in the game, but there's not much grinding. You you can pretty well get through the game without doing too much grinding. <clears throat> so yeah, it's a, it's definitely a time sink. Also, why do you always have to ask something as a question in Jeopardy? Never understood that. Oh. Wait, what? An Inteliamon? I'm one of them just doing chillin' here. Power Energy 3. Alright, that should be enough to just physically kill him. <coughs> oh, fuck. My throat's starting to get clogged up. The show was created as a way to overcome the scandal that previous quiz shows had where producers fed the right guests the, uh, the answers. Ah. Oh, what do we got here? Not, it's not what I wanted, but I'll do it anyways. Or at least that was the gimmick. And then we found out it was still just a scam all along. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. If you think you're a great hacker, then you won't hesitate to go anywhere. Even places you thought were dangerous. We're hackers, aren't we? An off-limits path or a secret door. Those restrictions don't apply to us. No one can tell a hacker what to do. Even whether to go ahead or turn back, that's something you should decide for yourself. But don't forget, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Oh shit. Okay. Let's use Visualizer now. I'm not sure if it actually took part. Who hacks the hackers? Other hackers, obviously. Ah, can't go that way. Hackers hack hackers who hack hackers that hack hackers. Cyber Demon, eh? And a boop. Bum, 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 ba, na, na. Okay, let's hopefully this will just do a one shot and it's perfect. Who hacks the hackers? Who hack hackers? Who hack hackers? More hackers. It's just a never-ending cycle of hackers who hack hackers. Okay, before we talk to this guy, we're gonna grab this. And we're gonna go fix this guy. Uh, power control... Visualize... Restoration, that's what we want. Oh god, it's the turtles all over again. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just break again soon. That's how it always goes. Still, I'd better give you something as thanks for fixing me. Happy hacker memory number eight, brave point B. Times two. Thank you. Talk to the hacker. To hone my hacking skills, I practice by cracking the toughest security I can find. It causes trouble for people? You want me to stop? Then I'll just have to train against you. Sure. If Honestly, if you really want to, I'll gladly fight you any time Jesus Christ, he's got three megas. Okay. But yeah, sure, I'll take you on. Oh fuck, this guy's gonna be easy. If I can hit one of his mega- actually, that might- that guy might not be a mega, that guy might be an ultimate. I'm not 100% on him. He might be a mega, but he might just be an ultimate. Uh, let's go for Piedmon first. And a boop. 
Oh sweet, yeah, no, this guy's gonna be easy. <laughs> and a boop. Uh, do you have anything that hits everybody? You do not. So we're gonna save your energy. Oh wait, you don't even do max damage. In that case, you can just give yourself a B capsule so you don't die. Destruction. That guy's just gonna sleep through the entire battle. Poor fella. And now he's probably gonna die. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, did he live? Jesus Christ. Aw, oh, I was hoping my other small go to sleep. Piedmon, one of the ultimate villains in the original series. One shot jump. <laughs> Now remember though, in the original series, even Piedmon, Mon, I believe, was uh, being controlled by... What's this guy's name again? Venom Myotismon, was he not? Or was Venom Myotismon being controlled by Piedmon? No, I, I believe Piedmon was being controlled by Venice Myotismon. Myotismon. I think, I think, I think. Alright, he's dead. And a boop. 17,000 experience, damn. I got owned. Since you won, I'll do as you say. I'll stop attacking security. I'll think of another way to train that doesn't cause people any trouble. You know, fighting Digimon. That tends to be what most people do. You could probably give that a try. Okay, who's ready? You need to be 65, you're only 47. You are ready, though. Lady Davimon. You still need 120 attack. Okay. <clears throat> you got a ways to go for that. Numemon to Black King and Numemon. And you will get to level 65 to get to Platinum Sukemon. Or sorry, Platinum Numemon. Same as you. We'll also go to Platinum Numemon. And there will be our three Platinum Numemons. Alrighty. Oh, that's not the button I wanted. That's the button I wanted. Item. Peace out. Don't remember Piedmon being controlled. Just recall there being one big bad after it. Well, it's like, not that Piedmon was being mind controlled or anything like that. More just, uh,. The fact that Piedmon, I believe, was working under Myotismon. And I don't believe Piedmon was doing something for his own goals. It was he was doing it for uh, uh, Venom Myotismon's goals. Okay, so before we do anything else... I have a few items. How much does this do? 25 cam and I have two of them. So, and Jewelmon's can is now 50. I'm gonna drop both of these. Oops, that's not what I want. On you. You are now five levels away, plus whatever stats you need, from getting what we want. Alrighty, Lily, let's do this. Hi there, thanks for taking my case. I want to do something uh, about that girl as soon as possible. But she's quite dangerous. She's a spirit, and it seems she has an affinity for digital things. There are lots of strange things going on in Tokyo right now. We can't just ignore her. So let's do it together. I bet you're wondering what a spirit is. Oh yes, I can read your mind. Okay, I'll see you in Chibia. If you say so. 
Ah, he's gay. I actually want to talk to you about Lily. Lately, she has this intense look in her face, like she's worried about something. It's not like her. I'm worried. I tried asking her outright, but she just avoided answering. It's not just me. The other members are worried, too. Can you help find out what's going on? Could it be related to Lily being an exorcist? She did say no, uh, no one knows about it. Sure? Uh, she's probably just busy with her other job. <laughs> yeah, she works part-time on a maid calf. We also thought that, that might be it. Well, it didn't lie. Not exactly. To be honest, none of us want to pry into her business. But I can't shake the feeling that she's hiding something big. I might end up seeing too much if I talk to him any longer. I'll stall for now and hurry to Lily. <clears> hey, <throat> eh, you're busy with another case and have to go? Rebus would just run off. But I haven't finished talking yet. Kisuke. Might have been a later thing. Piedmon came after Venom Myotismon in the show. Oh, uh, okay. Then never mind then. I, I was just wrong. I thought my Venom Myotismon came after Piedmon did. So I was just wrong in that situation. Oh, my phone. What is going on? Ah, Kisuke over here. Where did all the people go? People and Digimon go. Did you do this? Oh, I know. This is all a dream. Sorry, got a message I gotta look at. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Piedmon was the final thing before Apocalymon, and then it went on to the next lot, and I kind of stopped paying attention. Ah, okay. Then, yeah, I just had things reversed. Uh, this is... Er, this a force field. This a force field spell I came up with. Okay. Uh, I set it to come into effect the moment you arrived. Right now, the girl is trapped in this field. The field is slightly out of sync with the space uh, in which everyone exists. So no one can see us or interfere with anything that happens inside. The only things in here are you, me, and that girl. Do you understand? All right, let's find her. Hey, you ran into Kenji on the way here. Everyone's worried about me. I guess I did hide it. I didn't hide it very well. Maybe because I've been so busy with work lately. All the strange things happen happening in Tokyo have awakened lots of spirits. So I've been running around the city, trapping and eliminating them. So everyone's worried about me. But I can't tell them the truth. Even uh, when everyone's normal, they're always trying to meddle in the supernatural, especially May. If they knew that supernatural phenomena were real, they might put themselves in danger. So it's best they don't know. Ah, she's here. Look, over there. She's teleporting around. Relax, just stay calm. It's drawn to fear. Okay, I'll start the exorcism. First, we need to find her true form. It should be in there. If you say so. <clears throat> uh, 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, let's start with one and work our way around. Where is everyone? Where are you? Are you smiling too? In that case... To see it, even worse, when you feel alone, down you must go. Where is everyone? Where are you? Oh, did we find it? To hear of it accursed, to see it even worse. The depths of Shibuya, it's where we all must cross. When you feel alone, down you must go. When you feel low, down you must go. At the bottom lies a secret, hidden world. But woe to thee who finds the entrance there. For if you make it, you only meet despair. You only meet despair. The song she's singing is called Hirosaka's Song. At the Shibuya Scramble intersection, there are five hills, each of them going in a different direction. You split five people up, one on each road. Then you have them all head towards the Scramble intersection as they sing the Hirosaka song. If everyone makes it to the center of the Scramble intersection at the same time, right as they finish singing, a dead person is brought back to life. The Occult Research Club actually tried out this Shibu Shibuya Hirosaka urban legend once. Someone helped us out, and the experiment was a success. Everybody disappeared from Shibuya, and we saw several ghostly beings. It was very similar to the Shibuya we're in now. We were transported to somewhere that wasn't quite reality. Too bad, it doesn't look like this is your true form. Go to the bottom. To see it even worse... Okay, what else? Where is everyone? Where are you? Are you smiling too? In that case... Oh, there's another one up here. I tried out the Shibuya Hirosaka Legend with four good friends. When we first started, I didn't think all five of us would be able to finish the song and reach the center of the intersection at the same time. But we started walking, and I realized that we had all arrived at almost the same time. I was so happy and started crossing the intersection to get to the center, but the others stopped for some reason. The light had turned red. I finally realized and tried to hurry back, but it was too late. When I looked on my left, I saw a huge truck coming towards me. As it hit me and I rolled underneath, I saw my friends. What look do you think they had in their faces? They were grinning. All of them. Every single one of them. Four grinning faces. They were grinning. Oh, Dan, who are you? Stay back. My familiar will handle it. <laughs> so she's not an exorcist, she's just a Digimon trainer. My familiar has always been a shadowy, formless entity. But this is a Digimon. Extraordinary. If you're up against a Digimon, I can help. You have Digimon too? Excellent. Well, let's work together. This guy that looks familiar, but I have no idea who he is. Dragomon. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say he had some good health, and then we did that. Would you hear him die, please? Oh shit, he woke up. Oh fuck, he's got some good, uh, good hits. Can be good enough though. Yoink. We won. Go to the bottom. I don't think that was your true form either. Stay alert. Okay, where's the bottom? You keep saying go to the bottom. She figured she was heading underground. Hmm? Go to the bottom. 
the depths of Shibuya, but woe to thee who finds the entrance there. It's a Hirosaka song. It might be connected to the other world. Let's go underground and find out. Don't worry. I'll be with you every step of the way. Okay, if you say so. Do 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 A acceleration. Yoink. That was a Doggymon medal. I've never known that there was a Doggymon. I'll have to look into that later. Over here. There are so many people. Actually, I'm just finishing them off. Uh, my mouth is getting to the point where it just keeps getting dry. Might have to call her quits soon. There's stairs that lead down there. I don't want to go down them though. I'm gonna go check out what's over here. Hey, one shot. Could you not use status barrier and instead use something that's actually useful? Oh shit, it's her. Okay. I guess this is the way we're supposed to go then. So maybe I should go that other way. Oh shit, wrong person. Fuck. Okay, let's see if this will kill both of them. Hey, it did. GG. Hey Jinx, calling PETA pretty sure forcing them to fight is illegal. Hey, I don't force anyone to fight, madam. They willingly joined me and stayed on my party. Okay. It's not my fault. Ah, there's an item. It's a good thing I doubled back. And it's a memory up. Oh, yes. Gimme. Willingly. <laughs> At no point have they voiced that they didn't want to be on the team, okay? At no point. So that means they're willingly here. Okay, could you be useful? That's the word I used last time. I'm just gonna normal attack. Can they speak English? Uh, yes, they can. I had to think about that for a second, but yes. Mine have never chosen to speak English, but they do have the ability to do it. Boop, 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 boop. Will o' Wisp. And a boop. Oh, he didn't die, really? Fuck. Uh, 
I'm gonna get some good levels. That's what I like to see. Oh, there she is there. Okay, so I wanna go that way, so instead we're gonna go this way. Always do the opposite of what the game wants. Actually, no, that's not gonna lead me anywhere anyway, so we're just gonna pop over here for a quick second. And we're gonna check some Digivolutions. You still need 200 defense. You are 18 away. 1500 HP. Your HP is gonna be the limiting factor. You still need another 250, which means potentially 25 levels. Doable, but it's gonna be rough. Same with you, 130 attack. You still need another 32 attack. And 300? Yeah, 300 HP, which is another 30 levels. So, again, doable, but might be a bit of a pinch. Uh, you just need to get to level 60, or 65, I think. Yeah, 65. You need 120 attack, which you're still fucking off for that. Sixty-five. Sixty-five. Okay. So they're all still good. What about anybody here? Ah, that's what that thing was. Was it a Dragomon? Oh. That makes sense. Caramon? No, I'm gonna keep Caramon going his normal route, I think. I can't make him go his normal route as he's not going to make it to a high enough level, so instead we're going to drop him down. Then we'll make him go his normal route. Uh, Sugumon, you actually don't need to become st uh, Super Starmon simply because we already have three. So you can become either of those of your choice. Your cam is still low. Raramon, you can become anybody you want. You're still working on that, you're still working on that. And I think that's it. Can we convert? We can convert an Ogremon, we'll keep him though. Alright, we're good. Oh shoot, wait, no, I forgot to set stuff for the 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 the, the, the farms. Back to the farms! Try this again. Uh, HP Club A and multi recovery? Nice. Command. Train. Go. Command. Train. Go. Alright, now we're back. Excuse me, thank you. You're all kind of blocking my way. Alright, let's see where this chick went. Definitely didn't go down that hallway. There is nothing there. Let's open the green item. And a boop. Come on. There you go. Is it? Damn, it's 3.30. Really, the one time you actually attack and you don't do anything good with it. Oh well, good enough. Ooh, an item. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Ninja USB. What is a ninja USB? Always successfully escape from battle. Ha, huh, useful, but not fully. I don't really have much of a use as I don't tend to run away from battles. Actually, do any of my guys have a open space? No, they don't. Okay, never mind then. If they had an open space, I'd give it to them, just in case, but... No open space, I don't really need to. And now we can just poke this one to death. 
Surprisingly, it took more than one poke. Ba -ba -ba. All right, where are you going? You're seriously not there yet? Uh, okay, we don't go through that door. We're gonna go up here. <laughs> where is this chick leading us? Oh, she led us to this item at least. A thief disc. Speed and SP increased by 10. Nice. Uh, that could actually be useful on you. What do we got? Speed or SP in defense, SP in attack. Do we want to replace. Actually, yeah, we can replace you. I'd rather give her speed over attack, seeing as how she's not meant to do physical attacks anyways, so... Attack and defense, yeah, we'll keep them with those. Yeah, we're good with that. Restore! Alright, you should be able to finish both of them off. Easy peasy. Yeah, this chick's really got us going on a wild goose case. Goose case? Goose chase. Where is she at? You go this way? Yeah, she went that way, so we're gonna go this way. You know, Kibimon, could you please be a little bit more useful? If you could just kill one of them, it would save me from having to use an ability. But no. Instead, I gotta do this every time. Ooh, he's so close. He's level 58. Mind you, he still does need to get a stat uh, raised up. But even still. Once he hits level 60, he'll at least have that requirement done and out of the way. Alrighty, madam, we almost there yet? Okay, there's stairs going down. Let's go this way. Ooh, three flying types, eh? <clears throat> well, two flying types, I guess. Okay, one flying type. And now no flying type. Dead end, is there a shiny? No shiny? Really? That's a ripoff. Usually, at least give me something shiny. Alrighty, we finally made it. Uh, it's been a little while, I'm gonna save. Just in case. Completely lost as to what's going on. Please restart the game from the beginning. Uh, no. 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 Not happening. Currently, the world is being merged with the digital world, and this is a mission to help a girl figure out who the fuck this spirit is and why the fuck they're doing shit. There you go. For one fish? Definitely not. Alrighty, madam. You need to die. You've cornered her. It's her true form. Why? Why won't you leave me alone? Why are you chasing me? I just want people to know. I want them to know that death is so fun. You can be free in death. There's no hardship. There's nothing. 
Everyone, uh, everyone's lives are so hard. Everyone's lives are so painful. Everyone looks so bored of being alive. Uh, there's no way being dead could be more fun. Some people might feel that way, but uh, you don't know what you're talking about. Let's go with the middle one. <laughs> it's no good. You can't get through to her. And it gets worse. Her power is increasing at an alarming rate. Okay, okay. You drive a hard bargain. One fish and one friendship co cookie. Also, thanks for the teal deer. <laughs> Still a no-go on that. Just die. Die and be with me. Death is happiness. Oh, it's another one of him. But death isn't happiness. Death is sorrow. There's more sadness relieved from someone's death than there is happiness. Well, depending on the person. I won't lie, there are definitely situations where net increase in happiness is there from a death of a person. Uh, but generally, net sadness is larger than net happiness upon the death of a person. And when I say that, I mean like 99.9% .9 of the time, death outweighs the happiness. The 0.1% of the time are people like Hitler or... Uh, What's the buddy that made them drink the Kool-Aid? That guy. Those types of people would be the few rare exceptions of a net increase in happiness. Really? He's not dead yet? Alright, this should finish him off. Hey! Time to end this. I can't go anywhere. I can't be with anyone. I'm bound to this place. I'm alone. But I won't be lonely for much longer. Everyone is coming here. The entrance to the world or other world is open. Soon the dead will come back to life. Someone connected the other world to this one. <clears throat> Could it have been our Shibuya Hirosaka experiment? I don't think I've encountered a spirit this strong. We have to do something. Give me one. It, it's not working. It's no use. No one can stop me now. Sorry. I don't. Uh, sorry, I don't think I have enough power. Uh oh. What are you doing here? Something didn't seem quite right when I saw Kiske at the calf. I thought it was connected to you, so I called May and the others, and we followed him. We know everything. We heard you saying you're an, uh, an exorcist, and we saw you use your familiar. But we lost sight of you when you went underground. I'm glad we found you again. But no one should be able to enter the forest field. Maybe this had something to do with it. The present I gave you? Yeah. The frowning fox uh, cub strap. She can see what it is. No need to spell it out. I remember you bought them for us when you went to Kyoto. That's not actually true. They're charms I infused with my power to ward off evil. They're always getting yourselves involved in things that could be dangerous. I made them to keep you safe. They were the first ones I ever made. I can't believe you still have them. Of course we do. They're the first gifts you gave us. Even when I go to scary place, I have having it calms me down. And when I managed to get away from that furious old woman I susp suspected of being a witch, now that I think about it, that was also thanks to the charm, right? Hmm, it's possible. Thank you for keeping them. Maybe we can fight that girl if we focus the the power on all the charms. Everyone, hold on to them. Concentrate your thoughts on beating her. Think about how much better it is to be alive than dead. Oh, Talmon. Do we got a refighter or? I no longer feel them coming. Thank you. Now I can go to the next world. I'll close the doorway from the other side. Really, it was that easy? I look into what happened after your accident. After you died, people left flowers and candy by the intersection. Even when they were removed, they just kept leaving more. But they stopped doing it one day. A lot of people used that intersection, so I think there were complaints and they were told to stop. 
but I'm sure the people who left those offerings are still praying for you. I'm certain they were your... Aww. Such a touching story. I don't know where to start. Was that girl able to cross over in the end? Well, I'm not sure if that's the right way to put it, but anyway, the spirit is gone. Spirits like her materialize when the uh, strong feelings of being in this world interact with entities in the other world. My exorcism blocked that interaction. She won't return to this world. That's good to know. If the Shibuya Hirasaka is real, does that mean the entrance could be open again one day? She said she would close it, but it's always open. To be precise, the entrance is open, but just not fully connected. I can't be sure, but it could be that our uh, Shibuya Hirasaka experiment established a connection to the other world. There's no way a simple ritual like that would normally establish any kind of connection, but something was different that time. But I'll say this, don't try out any more experiments with urban legends. I'm busy enough as it is. No way. After what I've just seen, I'm staying far away from that stuff. Enough about that. What about you being an exorcist all this time? Sorry I didn't tell you. Is everyone mad at me? A charm. Huh? This one has lost all its magic power now, right? If you give me a new charm, I'll forgive you. I want to be angry, but I can't. I mean, you're protecting us, right? That's clear now. Oh, how sweet. I'm mad. Hey, <laughs> hang on. You're keeping all that interesting stuff to yourself. Huh? You just told me you've been running around Tokyo performing exorcism. It's obvious you're overworked. You should let us help. What? Uh -uh. It's time you had a bigger role in the club. You're not just an ordinary member anymore. From now on, you can be our field training instructor. It's a great idea. We'll introduce a program that lets us observe all manner of supernatural phenomena while learning the skills to deal with them. Yeah, so I'm glad I joined this club. This is going to be awesome. Hehehe, <laughs> there's no getting out of it. it. Sounds like so much work. Good luck, Lily. You know there's no dissuading Mei and Kenji when they get like this. We can iron out the details later. I've got to go now. Oh yeah, today's a big day, me too. Big day? You're not talking about that TV show again, are you? I thought it was finished. Nope. Season 2 starts today. This means I won't be available for cleaning duties for the next month. Now, back to the spirit world. Me too. Bye. Ah, I've got a class today. I need to get home and record the show. I'll see you two later. Okay, yeah, they haven't changed a bit. I guess I, uh, I guess I should thank you, but I helped when you were in trouble, so I guess that makes us even. I don't want to be on cleaning duty either, so I'm going. Bye bye. Oh, she's still here. Did you know? The entrance to the world of the supernatural is never far away. Just take a good look. Did you see something in the corner of your eye? Can you feel a presence? Ah, behind you. Well, that's just rude. Trying to make me fall out of my chair like that. Alright, before we turn this one in, let's head to the farms. We've got to digivolve some people. Poor jump scare, one out of five. Oh! We could get a wing drum on out of you. Sure, why not? Why not? Max level and you still can't digivolve, Jesus Christ. Uh, let's go to Chumon. Who can Chumon digivolve into? Sugumon, Anamon, Black Automon, or Raramon. Nobody that we really care for or want. I guess we'll just go back to Sugumon. get ourselves three new people of which we're probably just gonna convert all three to experience oops load 
uh, Metal Gururumon with you, you, and you. Wait, were you guys done anything? Command, develop. Here's 10,000 yen. Good luck. Alright, drop off that mission and maybe then we'll pop into the main story again. There we go. It's me. Operation Catch Ryuji is ready to roll. Come on back. We're having a huge huddle. <laughs> There you are. Oh, where is he? Where's Ryuji? I heard some bad rumors about him, about him hunting all the hackers and eating. So I'm here to ask him for myself. Tell me where he is. Tell me where he is, or you're getting arrested. Jesus Christ, Dave, calm the fuck down. He's been like that for a while now. But if you're looking for trouble, who the hell are you? Interfering with police business, and I'll haul you in too. No thanks. Don't you have better things to do than harassing people? Tokyo is falling apart around us. Maybe you came to the wrong address? I need smart talk from you. I know how to do my job. Bite in the shop, you old frumps. <laughs> Wasn't me. Erica said it. Who are you? Hang on to that adorable little guy. Where'd you buy that stuffed animal? You've got to tell me. Can you just get to the point already? I've got other things to do. This is Ryuji's little sister. Ryuji's little sister? We haven't had a chance to talk yet, but you heard about what's going on from Mr. Generic. I want you to help us grab Ryuji. I know, count me in. Can't just give up on Ryuji. Good, I appreciate you getting right to the point. Wait a second now. So you're here all trying to stop, or try, you're all here to try and stop Ryuji. There we go, English, please. In that case, you can add me. Matayoshi told me to help him if uh, he ever needed it. If he's lost his way, it's my job to help him. We don't need help from the police. Go back to where you belong. This is a matter for family. Family? So you and Ryuji are a couple? I had no idea. What are you trying to say? No, we're not a couple. I meant we're a hacker, hacker family. My heart is set on you go. One more word and it's on, Miss Cop Punk. Who are you calling Punk Cop? I'm gonna wash out that most of the soap. That's an ass uh, that's assault on an officer in the law. Can Ryuji go to Ryuji with this team? I'm worried. In a way, it gives me even more hope. You know how they say, close enough to fight. <laughs> Normally I'd never wa uh, work with the police, but we're running out of time. As long as you promise not to slow me down, I'll bite my tongue. Who's gonna slow who down? I'm a dedicated police officer. Now tell me the plan, then we can talk. The basic plan is to cap capture Ryuji in the real world. To do that, we need to first grab a certain person in Eden. So here, she is, er, wait. Sis is going to go with me to Eden, and while I hold Ryuji back, she'll calculate Ryuji's login location. Then when we tell you his login location, me and him go jump and pick Ryuji up. Got it. Not a bad plan. Leave it to me. We only got one shot of this, so you can't miss your chance to grab Ryuji. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's get started. Hey you, Ryuji's friends are my friends. I'll take good care of you, so come with me. Rip. Oh boy, she's a real handful. Ending our meeting and taking off without even asking if we're done. So listen, are you really ready? Yeah, uh, you're going to have to fight your own brother. Don't worry about it, old frump. Um, I really appreciate what you did. Since you asked to help, uh, me to help, I really wanted to say thanks. Sigh, all these girls are trouble. I really miss my Yugo. <laughs> well, damn. Rendezvous, uh, rendezvous point has changed to the Ueno Museum entrance. I'll head to Ueno. Okay. What's going on here? Fire development 3. Ah, fuck it. They can wait. They can wait. We need to go capture Ryuji. Ueno. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. I have shit to do.
Alrighty. We're in position. We can start anytime. Looks like yeah, they're all ready to go. Oh man, working with the police? How low can I have ice on? So where's the target now? He just got here. In that case, let's get started. Ooh, look at that aura. This stops here. You finished running around like a madman all over Eden. The way you've been acting isn't fit for a so-called leader of Hudi. Don't you agree, Ryuji? Oh dear, silence isn't very polite. Brother, it's me. Is that how you, uh, wait, wait, blah, blah, blah. Is that how you treat your own sister? Get back. This guy. There's something seriously wrong with him. Go now. Take care of your job. <laughs> oh, we actually get to do this fight? Oh, fuck. <coughs> that was a one-shot, one-hit. Uh, so what are you called? Arcadia Mon Champion. Okay. Then you did like no fucking damage. Question then is, am I supposed to actually win this fight? Language, I'll swear if I want, madam. Okay, he's not doing enough damage that we're all. Oh, I don't have any items though. Oh, but you do have revive. X or uh. Sure, yeah, let's top everybody up. Uh, final heal restores a lot of HP for one battle Digimon. Okay. Let's get everyone buffed a bit. Woo! Sakuyamon, you are not going to survive this. Prince any abnormal statuses, speed charge field. Uh, let's one ally survive one attack that would render them unable to fight. Nah. And mental charge. Oh, really, Sakuyamon? After all the shit that I just did? Okay, at this point, we just need to attack. Done as much buffing as we can. Again, I have no idea if I'm supposed to actually win this fight or not. Based on the amount of time that he gets to attack, I get the feeling I'm not supposed to. But it could also be that I need to survive a certain length of time. Now I need to save. Items. Okay, it's just a time-based thing. <clears throat> ah, he's old, but I see why he uh, reached legend. He won't be easy to beat. This is going to be a long fight. How's it going on your end? Hold on, I almost got it. Got it. We're on, send the, these coordinates. Now I've got to do is keep him busy. You got this, Faye. 
Get Ruzio's location. Hurry. We don't. Uh, we can't hold him back much longer. Hey, where is he? He's close. We gotta move. Follow me. Okay. Well, where are you taking us? Follow me as she disappears. Are we supposed to be going in here? Nope. Okay. Go back here then. Either. Don't move. It's the police. Hey, this isn't Ruji. Uh, Ruji is supposed to be here. Well, rip. Buddy can control uh, other versions of people, or other people, I guess, to log in. The attack stopped? What happened? They're gone. It wasn't Ryuji the coordinates you sent. What does it mean? Ryuji must have known what we were up to. I guess it means our plan bombed. Well, rip. Looks like it wasn't Ryuji in Eden either. So then where's the real Ryuji? Leave this guy to me. You go back to the shop. It was just my cop intuition, but I've got a bad feeling. I think you better get back to your friends. Ryuji of Von Eden was a dummy, and the hacker in his uh, lo login spot was being controlled. Could Ryuji's new Digimon be behind it? It sounds crazy, but it'd be weird for him to go to that much trouble. What do you mean? It's too much work if all he wants wanted to do was throw off our pursuit. Uh-oh. You. When did you get here? You were the one I was really after all along, Faye. Mm, interesting. Want to tell me the reason? The reason you say? Whose fault is it that Chitose got Eden's <clears throat> It's not just uh, Chitose. How many hackers were sacrificed in Under Zero just because of you? Time to pay for that crime. As second in command, you're first on my list. Next is Yugo. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but I could have sworn I just heard you say the craziest thing ever. I'm taking the Zaxons down. That's it. Bring it. I'm going to save Chisose somehow. I'm looking for a way to cure Eden Syndrome. I've got some papers from a Kamishiro researcher. What good are you for anything? It was all for you that I... Erika, you... you... It's your fault. It's your fault that everyone's gone. Dad, Mom, my friends, and even you. Why? I did everything I possibly could, trying to find a way to cure you. Everything. Bowed my head down to scumbags, lied for you, betrayed my friends for you, and even after all that. Why won't you get better? Why do you have to die before me? Why? Why do I always have to be the one left behind? It's your fault. All of it. If only you. If only you didn't exist. You're right. All your hardship, all your sadness, all your pain. It's all my fault. I'm sorry, Yuji, but I can't help you. But it's okay. I can still do something good. I'm going to uh, bring back a place for you. I don't I don't want you to suffer anymore. Shut your stinking mouse. You think you can piss me off like that and then just have stupid little brother and sister fight? You really misjudged me. Wait, let me talk to my brother. Forget it. He said something I'll never let him get away with. Going after Yugo? You think I would ever allow you to do that? Faye, you're a fucking hothead. You just made the worst mistake of your life. Still haven't heard from Erica and the others. I better hurry back. Bum ba bum. Uh oh. We've got an actual cinematic. Fancy. Oh shit, Hudi just exploded. Hey look, we're wearing our coat again. The pink shirt is better. What the fuck?
Oh shit! Also, for the size of that thing, those wings are too small. I will now roll for animal handling. <laughs> so all of that was one chapter. Yeah, I would say in this situation, Ryuji actually crit failed, as uh, he is not handling the animal, the animal is handling him. You know, for somebody in the hospital, you're sure doing a good job of taking care of your hair. Well, now you see me at my most pathetic. What happened to Ryuji's sister? I managed to use the power of Tiger Vespamon to save her from, uh, when the shop collapsed, but I don't remember anything after that. She's in the special therapy room being treated, but I thought she wasn't injured. I see. I remember she had some kind of strange disease. She woke up like this. Ryuji is destroyed. So now Ryuji's job and his purpose are both gone. This was my fault. I went crazy when he said Yugo's name like that, and I attacked without even listening. Hey, she's reflecting on it. She's not a complete fucking idiot. She understands that she was dumb at that point, and she's reflecting. And this Digimon suddenly started to digivolve. And what I did was unforgivable. I'm so ashamed. I'll never be able to look Yugo in the eyes again. Excuse me. I've come to pay a visit. Hey, it's Yuko. You. I hope you don't mind me coming by with this face, Faye. How can you say that? Besides, it's too late. Long time no see, Kisuke. Please don't be too hard on her. Ryuji Mishima's rampage was my fault. My fault for being unable to stop Rie Kishibe's plan in under zero. I apologize on behalf of the Zaxxon. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess you didn't realize it. See, this is where you kind of need to play the first game to understand. Like, they, they are explaining things here. But to get the full depth of the understanding here, the first game is very vital. The fact that Yuko and Yugo are the same person. Actually, Zaxxon's Yugo. That's me. To protect Kamishiro from forces both inside and outside, I used one face for people on the inside and one for hackers on the outside. Thank you for your help with the matter of the Avalon server. Don't think too much about it. I'm the very same Yuko Kamishiro you ate the rice omelette with. Still, I must apologize. Regarding Erika Mishima, you needn't worry. I've made arrangements to assure that her therapy is continued. I'm acting as something of a replacement for the company president, so I've been granted some degree of authority. I heard about her unique disease. I also heard about the scary er, the secret agreement between Rie and Ryuji. The way that she used a human life to force him to do her dirty work is unforgivable. As a representative of Kamishiro, once again, I offer my humblest apologies for failing to be aware of her uh, unethical actions. Please accept my most sincere apologies. It wasn't your fault, Yuko. Kishibe used the Yugo avatar so she could, e uh, she could even use Yuko's actions to make herself look good. It makes me furious to even think about it. If I ever see her again, I'll tear her apart with my bare hands. Thanks, Faye. But please just concentrate on getting better. Without you by my side, I just don't feel right. But, what is our relationship, you ask? What kind of question is that? Yuka and I are just, well, we're... I have the same problem. When someone asks me, I can never seem to come up with the right words. What do you think? You look like old friends. She looks like your servant. You look like lovers or something. Ooh, which one do we go with? Let's go with lovers. What? Oh, come on now. What are you talking about, Mr. Generic Face? It's not like that between me and Yuko. Well, I like the sound of that, but you know you shouldn't tease your elders, right? 
Remember when I get out, alright? I'll treat you some delicious Kyoto cuisine. Anyway, I'm sure Yuko wouldn't like it if uh, people said that about us, right Yuko? Oh, sorry about that. I was just thinking about our relationship. I didn't hear what you asked. What was it you said? Rip. Rip. I thought about it myself, and I don't think there's really any word that fully expresses our relationship. I can't say it very well either, but let's just say that Faye is precious to me. Does that answer your question? Nuko. Kamishiro and Eden. They were created by my father. For me, Eden is a place of memories. Memories of my brother before he fell victim to that disease, with no cure, and of my dead father. It is my duty to protect that place. And even though I was being manipulated, as you say, you are also my valued companions, now that I've built up a relationship with you as you go. Will you leave the matter of Rie Kishibe to me? She harmed a lot of people in places that are precious to me, so I wish to take care of her by my own hand. She's not given up on her wicked ambitions. The strange events in Tokyo are her doing. If something is not done, I fear worse is to come. But I refuse to allow it to happen. I will stop her and make her pay for her crimes. No, we will. Thank you. When all this is over, let's go for omelet, uh, rice omelets again. I'm surprised they haven't introduced the main character in this to the main character in the other one. Like, it, it has shown that they are both still running around in this world, so it's possible to, for them to meet. And of everything that's been going on, you would think they would have crossed paths to be like, hey, we could help each other. Mind you, though, that would also break the story of the first one, because we never met this guy in the first one. But, even still. I guess it was partly because she hadn't had her treatment for a while, but I bet she suffered a big shock because of Ryuji. Hey, what are we going to do now? Look for Ryuji. Yeah, that's right. I'm sure if Erika was awake, that's what she'd, uh, what she'd do. Okay, now that's decided, I can't wait. First, we need a new home base. The hospital room has good net access, and as long as we've got a PC, it's fine for the first, uh, or for the time being, right? Can you buy one somewhere? I'll keep an eye on Erika. We probably also should be getting insurance claims here soon. Mind you, it's probably only been a day, so... Ryuji, where could he have gone? Uh-oh. Ghost Erica. Am I seeing this? Or seeing things? Let's go get a PC. I bet we can get one at Nakano Junk Shop. Or... You know, instead of using your own money to buy one, you could pull your connections, like maybe contact Mariyoshi? A dark legend. Achievement unlocked. Uh, Digimon prote protection is on track because the rebels are working hard. Uh, but she's not Yasu. You find Digimon downtown. It's good to be in the real world with you, but Erika's Mimitan scares me. It's Meimeitan as soon as Erica. Wait, it's Meimeitan as soon as Erica sees you goofing off. Wait, what? Okay, tastes the same pain. Yes, we're going with that one. But yeah, I don't see why he's going to buy a computer himself. Of all the connections he has, I'm sure he could go to like Matayoshi and be like, "Hey, because of this happened, do you think you could loan me a computer?" Where's the junk shop? Right there. I look for a laptop. We have ultra lightweight, top of the line new models that just arrived. My wallet is crying, but I'll get this one. Hey, Dram, I'm having a great day. How about you? Hopefully, I'll get the money back once Ryuji and the others return. <laughs> I got the items I need. Let's go back to Erica's room and get set up. Speaking of Erica, no doubt about it this time. That's Erica. But Erica is in the hospital. What's wrong? Huh? Erica? Huh? But she was right here the, this whole time. I'll write you a guess. That doesn't sound good. 
I'll head back to the hospital for now. Oh, she's awake! Great news! Erika woke up! Where am I? Where's Ryuji? Uh-oh. She doesn't remember. That's not good. Oh, so Faye saved me, huh? And the officer from Kamishiro arranged for your therapy to continue. Isn't that great, Erika? Yeah. But I can't just sit here quietly and wait. That's not much time left for Ryuji. Woke up not feeling the best, but you're feeling better? Well, I'm glad to hear that, then. I've definitely had those days. Woke up queasy, figured I was going to be sick, and then as the day went on, it got better. So hopefully that's all it is. Just a little morning sickness. When I saw him at the store, I could tell that Ryuji was being affected by that Digimon. Yeah, Ryuji might be somehow influenced by that Digimon. It's probably the same reason that it suddenly digivolved. If this goes on much longer, I don't think he'll ever be able to come back. I can just feel it somehow. Maybe so. But what, uh, what are you saying we should do? Ryuji won't listen to a single word we say. Even if you couldn't reach America, what else is... Or even you couldn't reach America, what else is there to do? Beat the shit out of him. Well, we'll have to continue with the original plan. Only one person can bring Ryuji back. Chitose. The only thing we can do is wake Chitose up. I still believe Chitose can reach him. I have to believe it. Or you can beat the living shit out of him. That is also a valid option. I guess you're right. That's all we can do. Count on me to help, Erika. You're still going to decode that paper from Suedo, right? Yeah, he said there was a clue in there. If I can decode it, I'm sure I'll find a way to wake Chitose up. In that case, let's get started. Hey, you brought a PC, right? Let's connect it. Boop. Huh? Has something happened, you asked? Now that you mentioned it, I had a weird dream. I was with you, and I don't remember the rest. What's that? Her digital form is taking over the world! Looks like I can take cases from the BBS just like always with this PC. Or I can once there are any important cases to take anyways. Maybe I'll uh, ask me right what's afoot. Alright, before we do that, I will be right back. Just pop it up. Ugh, that screen. No anarchy allowed. <laughs> Actually, anarchy's fine. I hate it when folk dancing is getting popular. Also, I hope you're feeling better. Yeah, exactly, Jinx. We all hope Graham feels better. Did you laugh? Let's go. Alright, are you guys done? Oh, somebody's done. Oh shit, three of you are done. Man, train, go. Now they've eaten, that's good. I actually need to keep food out of my head because I had lunch at about 11 o'clock and I haven't touched food since. So, I'll be getting hungry here in probably like an hour. <laughs> oh shoot, no, I didn't want to do that. I wanted you to do develop. Yes. You're weird, but Mumitan really hurts. Yow! That's usually how it works. Even when you're only got like a slight morning sickness type of thing, you just don't want to do anything for the day. Hey, Kroll, how's it going? What are you, 51? So you still got 14 levels left. Okay, nobody here is. Oh wait, I still haven't. Sorry, nope. Okay, nobody there is ready. Anybody here? 
think it said that somebody was max leveled, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, you. Let's go. Cool. Caramon, you're gonna go there. Can you do that this time? Yes, you can. Perfect. Nobody else is ready, though. Yeah, I don't really care much for the f uh, farms. They don't level people up too quickly. I don't have enough space in my inventory to keep other people. Hey, what do I got? I got 140. I could take a few people with me. Let's take, uh... Who do we want? Who do we want to take with us? Who does amazing medicine? <laughs> Who do we want to bring with us? Oh wait, yeah, you. I'm using you to try. I'm gonna bring Wizardmon with us because he's working on somebody that I actually want. Where'd he go? Wizardmon. In there. We can probably take one more person with us. It's going good. Just got a haircut. Nice. I actually got to buzz my head. I'll probably be doing that today once I get off stream. Okay, I kind of want to get that. No idea what that is. Uh, so, oh wait. 36 of 37. Defense of 85 or 95. Your defense. Okay, so. Let's do that then. Let's, uh. Let's D Digivolve you to Agumon. And we'll pop you into the part. Oh shit, we can get a. We could get a Goonimon instead. Ooh, yeah, let's let's grab that Agumon. We're gonna get ourselves an Agunimon. Agunimon, Agunimon, I want a Goonimon. I'm doing pretty good. I had a nice little day off today. Nice snow day. Didn't have oh yeah, I was supposed to talk to Mirai, wasn't I? Uh but yeah, I had a nice little snow day. Didn't have to do much because of it, so just been streaming for most of the day, so it's been it's been good. It's been a good few weeks as well. Just life, life in general has been halfway decent. <laughs> uh, more idiots in Kowloon, the more, that's what is this, territory capture. Does this one automatically teleport us? I think it does. Let's do this one then. We'll get these missions out of the way and then we'll go talk to Mirai. Uh, who can we take with us? Date, date or Matayoshi? Nokia, Agumon, and Gabumon, Arata... Lily, Reina, or BLZ. Let's take... Let's take Agumon and Gabumon. I'm always down to take you guys. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Uh, control, 5 and 0. No ally support skills. That's fine, I don't use support skills anyways. <laughs> Uh, this one should be easy enough for me then. A yoink. Pheromons. That's just rude. One shot kills though are also very nice. Barely any experience though. That's the sad part. A boop. And a boop. Horse skills are for chumps unless I use them. And then they're for cool kids. <laughs> Yeah, no, I just never really wasted my time with support no, skills. Like, don't get me wrong, I understand the purpose of them, and they do make sense to use. I just never really did. I was more of a powerhouse kind of player. Nobody wants your resistance, Jinx. There's already enough anarchy here as it is. Mind you, folks, if you join her resistance, just don't eat the cookies. Actually, really, don't eat anything she offers you. That's the best bet. The 
the cookies don't don't get me wrong the cookies are halfway decent they, they are good cookies but they have bad side effects oh yeah so they can use uh, support things I can't I call bullshit Oh, no buttons. Oh no, I'm clicking things I don't want to click. Uh, come back. I definitely didn't accidentally click out of my stream. Uh, rip. Oh, good, that's all good. It's all good. I'll join if I know what the goals are and if the food is great. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. I'm back to where I'm supposed to be. I'm just gonna physically attack him. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I should be. Uh, oh, he's got counter. Son of a bitch. Yes! Yeah, the issue with Jinx is I don't think she really has a goal other than anarchy. That's usually the only goal she ever has. Shit, 20 grand, I'll take it. Goals. Mildly annoyed T. Of which I will say she has not achieved. Uh, let's go with Comet Hammer. No, let's go with Nightmare. No, Comet Hammer. Food, unlimited chocolate chip cookies, and one fish. Only a singular fish, though. That's it. And I don't mean a singular fish per person. It's everybody that joins has to share one fish. Lucy, you must have been gifted a sub? Probably. There seems to have been a lot of uh, subathons recently, so you could very well have been gifted a gift or gifted a sub. Because I know if uh, I'd believe if a streamer has like every viewer watching is subbed and people gift random subs out, that they just go to random other users. I believe, I believe. Okay, neutral, neutral, neutral. Let's get rid of the yeah. egg. Viva a lot of resistance. Look what you've done, Jinx. Look what you've done. Jesus fed the 5,000 with five loaves and two fishes. Don't be greedy with just one fish. <laughs> it is a little weird, but that's how things go. I know sometimes people also just randomly gift uh, random usernames out. Mind you, your name probably wouldn't show up on that list, but I I've definitely seen people gift subs to like... Uh, uh, most of the time, like, he was watching, uh, Angry Pug, and somebody would gift a, a thing out to a DS, like, their username is DS user. It's usually funny to see stuff like that. Alrighty, we need to get three more, which means we need to warp back. Uh, do I have any that hit everybody? I don't. I'm trying to see what it is. Oh, it's a person's head on a flexing body. Okay. It looks like a. That looks like a very. The what's the character I'm going for? The the word I should say. A character from something that I've seen before. I'm just blanking. A similar character, I guess, would be the word I'm going for. Well now, that is one heart and a half. The Nereal Heart, okay. <laughs> Makes me curious to see what kind of uh, stream they run when they have a booty heart. Wait, Jinx? You're just following me now? Really, Jinx? <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Jinx. Welcome to class. I 
I'm a little hurt though that you're just starting to follow me now. But only a little bit. A Fugamon. What? They took my emblem. That's just rude. They took another emblem? Really? These guys. Excuse me, so on February 10th, I remember seeing the notification but don't know the emotes. Huh. Yeah. Maybe you've got a friend that watches that and sent them to you or something. Be the only thing I can think of. Isn't that a hit everyone on? Oh no, it's only one person. Huh. Uh, yeah, let's go all three of them. Pew! Oh, one survived. Barely, but one fucking survived. And now he's dead. Those are some cool emotes. I like those. See, that, that, that is one of the only reasons I would like to get partnered. Like, I'm, I'm not in this for money. I really could care less about that. I fucking love emotes, though. And I want to be able to get my own emotes. <laughs> to be honest, never use Twitch unless someone from Maple Moose is streaming, but I think I get Twitch Prime with my Amazon Prime. Yes, if you get Amazon Prime, you do get one free uh, Twitch Prime that you can slap onto any account. Every month for free, you get to sub to one person. Would you people stop taking over my goddamn emblems? Like, seriously, Jesus Christ. That we have. Nope. Oh, okay, I thought they took one from me. Gonna get pissed for a second there. Dream I'm coming in with even more votes. <laughs> yeah, I currently have. Uh, what emotes do I have? I have Kitty Chips' emotes and Whoops' emotes, I believe, are the only ones I got. <clears throat> Whoops has some real nice ones though. Um, some of my favorite ones, if I can get into my emotes. Let's see. That one. That one. That one. Wait, do I not have access to that other one? Oh no, there it is. Yeah, Whoop, Whoops has a whole bunch of really nice ones. Okay, we have this one. Uh, no, I think it's this one we want, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Yoink. That should be all five. As long as they don't take one back before I go to fight, buddy. We should have all five. Yeah, I want emotes real bad. Emotes are always nice and funny. Uh, whoops is... Let's see if I can find his proper username. Uh, Twitch. Twitch, 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 Twitch. Uh, shoot, I can double check my following. Cause he's not live right now. If I can get it up. My computer, why are you so slow? No, 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 I want, I want following, not followers. I 
eventually it'll load. Uh, he should be on near the top. Oh no! Oh yeah, it's just whoops. Just w o o p s. I thought he had a bit more to his name than that. Yeah, whoops is a, an anime slash uh, variety streamer. Um, hilarious guy. Absolutely love his streams. He does a lot of the the Beat Saber stuff that I've been watching as well, and he's so fucking good at it. But yeah, I, I honestly highly recommend watching Whoops if you're into different anime games and stuff like that. That's not to say that he only plays anime games, like he also plays, uh, he just finished uh, Metro Exodus. And he's currently waiting to see on Persona 5, I think there's like a, potentially a new edition of that coming out. We might be looking at that, but he plays a whole bunch of different games. But yeah, no, he's, he's a big weeb though. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? Just got a one-shot on my guy. Yeah, just, uh, W-O-O-P-S. Actually, I'll just, uh, twitch.tv slash whoops. That should be the link there. Should be being the keyword if I spelled it right. God damn, these guys need to die. Three of the best emotes to ever exist. Oh, <laughs> they're your emotes. <laughs> Took me a minute to clue into that. I don't know, Dram. I'd say the three best emotes ever are these ones. Right. Definitely top tier emotes right there. Gotta have your girls. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping to upgrade my uh, stream a little bit. <clears throat> Not with emotes, but with uh, the follows and whatnot. Instead of having the emotes pop up for that, it's uh, I'm hoping to have uh, some actual photos and whatnot of my caricature doing a couple different things. Just kind of waiting on the uh, commission that I've put in. See what's going on with it. Oh well, I'll I'll say this, Tram. I'm definitely putting mine forward as the best. My three emotes are the best emotes. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Will you hear up and die? I want to get through with this. Counter? That's just rude. Oh. Alright, this is going to be enough. No, it's not. God damn it. Yeah. I object to yours being the best. Uh, keeps putting nonsense and I'll join the resistance. <laughs> Was that the last one? That was too easy. Hey, Algamon, remember that thing? Why don't we ask uh, Kisuke about it? Oh yeah, listen up, Kisuke. We want to give Nokia a present to thank her for being so nice to us. But we don't know about human presents, so I wanted to ask you. What would you like, as long as it's something we can give her? If you don't know what you'd like, just tell us what you'd like. Uh... Back massage, money... Practical accessory. Yeah, that's all Nokia needs. Accessory? It's an accessory. Is it food? 
No kid told us. It's a shiny thing you wear, right? That's a good idea. A watch would be great. I agree. That settles that. Let's get uh, her an amazing watch. I hope she'll like it. Okay, now we need to uh, make a watch. Come on, Pokemon. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Please take this. Ooh, we got best meat. Nice. I will always take best meat. Okay. Let's look at the points for that. And now let's swing into Digilab as we have a few people that are ready to Digivolve. You are still not ready. You still need your defense to get up there. What is your defense at? You need 12 more defense. Even though that says not 198, the plus 10 does actually affect that. And two, no, yeah, 200 HP. Fuck. So we still need like another 20 levels minimum. Which sucks. Uh, anybody else ready? Oh, we want to go to my... Oh, wait, no, yeah, we need to get your ABI up, don't we? Uh, let's just, let's just check Wisemon. Can we get Beelzemon from you? Uh, Wisemon will just slap you over here for a second then. Uh, no, we can get Belfimon. I don't want Belfimon. There we go. Now we have the ABI to get what we need. Uh, Black King Numimon. Start here. No. But we can get our Agunimon! Boom. Agunimon. Look at that. Look at that. It's from the fourth season of Digimon, I think, when they started going into human combinations. And now with Agunimon, we can move into Burning Greymon. Uh, what level? 157, though. 120 attack and 60 defense. 120 attack, 60 defense. Might be rough at level 57. We're gonna drop him back for now just to make sure that we can get extra levels. Uh, any of you guys ready? Do 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 do. Yeah, nope, nobody's ready. Okay, let's move Wizardmon back into the party. And let's go from there. Yeah, I got your boy Agunimon. Mind you, I'm not quite ready to do the Agunimon thing yet. I need to get a little bit more experience under that person so we can get proper levels. But we will be getting them. Uh, what do we got? Void Symbol, Elephant, Mon. Okay. Uh, water symbol. Sure, let's see this one. Sun avatar from a dead friend in Eden. What was that? Uh, could you look into it? Sure. Check it out. <clears throat> Clan's name is Miy uh, Miyuki. What you doing? What's up, Miyuki? I'm um, hello. Do you believe me about the case? I saw a dead person in Eden. No one believes me. You're right. You need to investigate before you can make up your mind. Let me tell you about my friend. We've been close ever since school. She moved far away after graduation, but we stayed good friends. Because we had Eden, the distance didn't mean anything. We saw each other all the time. We loved chatting in cyberspace. But she got sick and couldn't come to Eden anymore. She passed away two months ago. I took it really hard, and I couldn't wallow in grief forever, so I walked into Eden again. That's when I saw it. Her avatar was walking around in Eden. Did you really see her? Did you see her face clearly? Uh, I had to do a fight that, I think it was, yeah, I just, I did a fight that uh, Agunimon and Lobomon were part of, and when I finished the fight, it gave me their Digivolution items. And that way I could Digivolve into them. I was so, <clears throat> I was so shocked that I was stunned for a few moments. I tried to go after her, but lost her. Where did you see her? At the entrance to Under Kowloon 1. I actually used to do a little hacking, but gave it up a long time ago. I took her there once. I wanted to relive that memory. That's why I was there. I thought someone must be using her account, so I asked the company that runs Eden. 
I really hope one day they release an awesome Digimon game with every Digimon along with a few new ones. I definitely don't see it happening for a while, if at all, but it would be, yeah, it would definitely be sweet, but it would be so massive. The amount of Digimon that are out now, like, holy fuck. Uh, but they just said I must be mistaken. They wouldn't listen to what I had to say. Her name is Machiko Sasada. I'll send you some photos. This is all I know. Take a look at, her, uh, at the photos. If I'm mistaken, I'll forget about all this. But if I'm right, please let me know if your investigation turns up anything. <clears throat> Before I go to where Miyuki saw her friend, I'm interested in finding out whether or not the admins looked into this first. I'll ask them. I'll head to Kamishiro Enterprise headquarters in Eden. Really? That's okay. A bit of a random turn for what you would normally do, but I guess. Pokemon does. Yeah, they could. It is definitely doable. 100% doable. I just. With the way most Digimon games are set up, it would still be a massive game. I would love to see it, though. Alright, everybody, give me information. You want to know if the avatar of Machiko Sasada was seen in Eden two months ago? Yes, we did receive an inquiry about that. As I said back then, it must have been a mistake. Now run along, I've got work to do. Uh... If I tell you, will you leave? Fine. I checked the account information for the time when the Machiko Sasada avatar was supposedly seen, but there's no record of her being logged in at that time. Her last login was two months ago. It means her account hasn't been used for the last two months. It's impossible for anyone to have seen her in Eden. But we haven't received a notification of death. Are you sure she's actually dead? Uh, we're just a bank. When a user passes away, we freeze their account once a member uh, of the Green family notifies us of the death. What if no one notifies us? Well, then we can't do anything. Eden's still a relatively new system. Many people still don't know about the procedure. Are you a family member? If you go through the procedure on the Eden website, we can freeze the account. There, I've answered. Now off you go. It's possible someone hijacked it. Now to under cold moon level one. This is the entrance. No shit, Sherlock. Except for the avatar of the woman in person. Bum bum bum. She disappeared. I would. It wouldn't happen like that if the data was corrupted. I can't see her anymore, but I might be able to track her. I'll give it a try. You know, for a kid that knew nothing about hacking, he definitely adapted to it very quickly. I've checked all the accounts nearby, but there's no sign of Machiko. The avatar looked like it was headed for level 1. It makes sense to go there next. Wait, like, it was going to Kowloon level 1 or under Kowloon level 1? I'm just gonna go into here. I'm gonna assume that it's talking about Undercolon. <clears throat> oh, wait, I can also do this. Before I forget, acceleration! Oh, these poor baboos. They're gonna get fucked. Those poor, poor baboos. They're not even worth my time. Oh shit, that's fast. Oh, I feel so bad. Really <laughs> a combo attack? Oh my god. Oh, that poor child. The overkill is real. Not the baboos. At least Agumon is actually getting some levels out of it. No sign of her account here either. Ooh, rip. How's the investigation going? I've been worried. You saw her? It was just like a ghost? That's exactly what I saw. I forgot to say this before, but when I asked the admins, they said it could have been a ghost. But of, uh, of course, a real ghost wouldn't appear in Eden. I thought maybe I just wanted to see her so badly that my eyes were playing tricks on me. But now you've seen her too, so I know it's real. 
she's not on level one anymore? Actually, a hacker friend of mine just contacted me to say he'd seen someone who looks like her. It was on colon level four. Maybe she's there. Sorry to pressure you, but keep please keep looking. I guess if I have to. Oh shoot, I have memory up. Nice. Uh, export. Go. Uh, good for Agumon, but how do you feel? How do you feel, you monster? <laughs> I feel perfectly fine. I sleep very well at night. Alright, so apparently she's over here now. Acceleration. Go! Yeah, I definitely don't feel like I was accelerated. There we go. Oh yeah, no, we want to go this way. But um, mm, but um, alrighty, madam, where are you? <laughs> I need to get some mission cleared and out of the way. I right, can move on to the next one. Apparently she was around here somewhere. She doesn't appear to be now, though. Do 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 do. Wait, what? This isn't where I want to be. Rip. Should be able to just one-shot these guys. Oh, really? No. Damn. Okay. That's good to know. Now this show should finish them off. Or not. Well, fuck. I'm surprised that these low-level creatures are still able to survive and not get one-shot. Appears to be a dead end up here. <laughs> Unless she's up there. She could very well be. Dying one hit. Thank you. Oh, she's up here. Nice. Perfect. Madam, are you a ghost? Need to figure this out. Oh, she disappeared. And she's behind me. Oh, it's Puppetmon. You look at her face, you were so scared. That was nothing compared to what's coming next. What's coming next? Do you feel good with the death of the baboos? Yes. I feel good about the death of the baboos. They were in my way. Pop it, pummel. And a boop. He did. Jesus Christ. Ouch. Would it have to go a little easier on me? Yeah, but my ghost prank was hilarious, don't you think? If it didn't control that avatar, it wouldn't do anything. It's just like a puppet. There's a storage server with loads of avatars just like this one. That's where this avatar was being uh, transported to. But access to the server is restricted, so I had to pilfer it before it got there. Uh, did you really think it was a ghost? Pretty funny, right? It wasn't funny. Don't do it anymore. This person's dead. You're boring. Fine, I'll stop. I'll find something else to amuse me. Can you take this puppet back to where it belongs? Thanks. Bye! Wait, what? Uh... How do I... How, to, to, but, uh, yeah, but, uh, how do I do that? But Digimon was controlling her as a prank? 
The server where Puppet Mom found her must be for storing the accounts of dead people, where Kamashiro temporarily keeps accounts until the procedure for freezing them is completed. Her parents said they submitted a request for her account to be frozen. Maybe the procedure stopped when her account disappeared. I can't be, really, I can't be entirely sure if that's what happened, but I'll tell her parents to start the procedure again. That should stop her account from being abused anymore. Then she can rest in peace. But I'm actually a little grateful to Puppet Mom. It may not have been her inside, but it made me happy to see Machiko again after so long. It's like a fleeting dream, anyway. Thank you for everything. Well, you're welcome. Oh, what do we got now? Oh, just farm training done? Perfect. Perfect! We'll swing back in there, see what we can do. Then we'll grab yet another one of the random missions. Oh, you know, I'll start with this. Command, train, go. Command, train, go. And you guys can develop something for me. Okay. You're still working on it. You're still working on it. Over you 56, you still got a ways to go yet. Back to a Goonimon. Level 71. He should be fine. With 71 levels, I'm thinking he should be able to get enough stats to pop up to Burning Greymon. Yeah, we should be good. Alrighty. Anybody over here while I'm here? Nope, everyone appears to be good. I got three people there. Actually, we'll convert them into some uh, experience. Why not? Load a Goonimon. You, you, and you. Go. PC. BBS. Blue Aquarium. Hello again, I'm the manager of the Ikebukuro uh, Aquarium. Sure you remember me. Thank you for your help with a uh, theft case from before. We have another problem, and I would like you to help once again. Gave whoops a follow? Nice. Thank you, I expect it might be another hacker incident. Something strange started happening with the aquarium's public announcements a little while ago. If the equipment was broken, we could just fix it, but that's not the problem. For some time now, customers or employees who hear an announcement burst into tears for no apparent reason. What? No, we don't play any sad music, or just just our usual announcements. There's no doubt it only ever happens when an announcement is made. Perhaps someone tampered with the public announcement equipment? We've stopped making announcements for now, but that's not a permanent solution. They're essential for informing visitors when shows are about to start, not to mention when children get lost. Can you please look into it? Sure, how the hell is it making people cry, though? Uh, I'd have no end of bad luck. I'll start by going there and asking around about the announcements. Okay, where's the aquarium at? Oh, it's just gonna take us there, perfect. I'm gonna ignore all you and grab this. I'm just, yeah, there was a lot of weird announcements about the dolphin show and stuff like that. Okay, I was trying to actually grab this. Ryuji memory, OMG. You wanna know if uh, I've seen someone crying in the aquarium? Well, I certainly haven't been crying. There's no way some announcement could make a perfectly normal adult like me cry. What? It's a normal reaction. Okay, I'll tell you what happened if you promise you'll keep it to yourself. When I heard the announcement, I was overcome by sadness and couldn't hold back the tears, even though I was with my girlfriend. It was as if my emotions suddenly became unstable. It was such a strange feeling. Cool. Huh? A strange feeling during the public announcement? I don't know. I didn't listen to it. But I did see someone crying in front of a tank. Maybe he was moved to tears by the fish? 
person who loves Enemu is a person uh, of culture. <laughs> exactly. What's that strange sound? Why am I so useless? I can't take it anymore. Boo hoo, what's wrong with me? I can't hold back the tears. Boo hoo hoo. Oh no, I'm feeling all sad again. What the hell's going on? We should stop making an announcement. The music's playing by itself. We've not even. We're not even making any announcements, but all this craziness is still going on. I'm a failure as a manager. Sorry, I know a grown man shouldn't cry like this, but. but I, this must be that strange phenomenon. But why aren't you affected? It's not fair. I seem to be fine. If I had to guess, I'd say a Digimon program is behind this. There should be a Digimon where the sound is. Uh, I'll take a better or I'll take a look around. You know, like this giant circle right here. This giant spinning digital circle. I knew Digimon would be behind this strange phenomenon. Are you kidding me? A human who's not susceptible to my sound? You want me to stop? I'm afraid I can't do that. But now that you found me, I'm out of here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I must still be nearby. I'll take a look. Checking for anything that seems suspicious looking. Wait, he's hiding in here? Really? He found me again. I'm impressed. I already told you. I won't stop. I hate humans who don't listen. Take this. Sorrow Blue. I didn't like my special move. Have you lost your fighting spirit? That's right. Every time an announcement was made in the aquarium, I used Sorrow Blue to send the humans into a state of depression. What? How can you still fight? Then I'll just defeat you the old-fashioned way. Good luck. I have no doubt that you will lose. And a boop. Oh yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Well, see, now you actually do damage with the attack. GG. Bad, it's not gonna be enough. And you're dead. I have 5,000 experience from it, though. I'll take it. You beat me. You're the first person whose heart has managed to under er, to withstand my sorrow blue. Why did I make all those people cry? Since you've been such a worthy opponent, I'll tell you. Most of the aquarium's visitors are couples, but there's someone who doesn't like that. Uh, a certain single hacker hired me to make sure all the couples who uh, visit have a terrible time. He told me to use my special move to make the place an un, uh, as unromantic as possible. He was crying, and he and said he'd pay me, so I said I'd do it. I just felt sorry for him. <clears throat> that must be why he's single. Uh, will there be an essay due about the details of the stream? Yes, Jinx, there will be. All day, every day. Every time I have a stream, I expect a five-page essay detailing everything about it with sources referenced. And your reference page does not count as a page towards the essay. Ah, sorry, I didn't mean to make you feel down. I didn't even use Sorrow Blue. You're right, I only did it to help someone out. But it wasn't very nice for the people in the aquarium. I'll go and apologize for all the trouble I've caused. Good boy. Thanks for everything. The police didn't even know where to start with this one. We've resumed our announcements. Everything's back to normal now. Huh? Are you worried about, uh, whatever that is? It really caused us a lot of trouble. But it's fine now, and it's very apologetic. Uh, now I know it was being used by someone. And of course, it promised it won't do anything like that ever again. I've forgiven it. By the way, I know who the hacker who used, uh, the thing is. I tried to talk to him, but he got mad and said I'm a bad guy for running a place that makes people unhappy. There's no g getting through to some people. That Digimon was far more reasonable. Anyways, I've told the police about him trying to disrupt our business. Uh, of course, I only told them the important parts. Don't worry, I left your name out of it. What have we done? 
Harassing people when they come to a place that exists to make them happy is unforgivable. I'll make him pay for everything he's done until he just er, until he cries just as much as we all did. Rip. Oh yeah, I'd like to give you a ticket in addition to the usual payment. It's a couple's ticket. You should bring your girlfriend when you get some time. Wait, do you even have a girlfriend? That's... Ooh. I'll come when I have one. <laughs> I like your attitude. If only that hacker was more like you. I I'm sorry. I'm not doing an essay. Anarchy! <laughs> Everything's been resolved, but this case has made me feel really down. <clears throat> has it? Has made me feel down. I'm perfectly fine being signal. Signal? Yes. Single. Thank you for the payment. And last but not least... Five page essay? Done. Since you didn't uh, specify font size, each page of the essay will have one word in size 72 font saying no battle royale, one out of five stars. Not how it works, Jinx. You know all essays have a standard 12 point font. I've been waiting. Are you the hacker who took my case? Thank you. I'm the director of this museum. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Now, about the case. As you can see, the museum was heavily damaged as a result of the recent strange phenomena. Before we can start making any repairs, we need a complete oh hiccups, why? We need a complete damage assessment. But some large Digimon, is that what they're called? Anyway, those monsters, they've taken over part of the museum. No one can go anywhere near them. I would like you to do something about it. We're on a tight schedule, so I would need it done as soon as possible. Thank you. The Digimon are occupying an area further inside. Good luck. We're going to direct our Digimon are farther inside. I'll take a look. Alrighty. Also, how are they going to repair this place? I'm rather confused about that. Dram has joined the resistance. Noise. Nah, Dram's just pretending. Dram really works for me. He's an inside agent. You son of a bitch! Yeah, don't be a great asset because I'm also short. <laughs> Skull Greymon and a Whatchamadigramon. Well, they woke up. Don't come any closer. This place is ours. Get out. Well, that's rude. You didn't even give me a chance to leave. Had you given me a moment to leave, I probably would have. Dram T says you're a secret agent. Prove your loyalty. Eat the friendship cookie. <laughs> don't do it, Dram. Trust me, you don't want to eat that. Well, that was easy. I was actually expecting a bit more of a challenge from that, but I guess I was overestimating their skills. Ouch, ugh. We just started making ourselves at home. I thought we could live in here in peace. Why are we here? Because it's our territory. Uh, do you mean why did we make this our territory? We were just wandering here after... Er, we, were, we just wandered here after we suddenly found ourselves nearby. The fossils reminded us of home. They are strangely calming. No other Digimon had claimed it as their territory, so we took it for ourselves. We just wanted to live here in peace. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you do. <laughs> to protect our territory, we obviously can't allow intruders. But we lost, so now we have to give it to you. Not necessary? We're mistaken? So you're just here to steal the territory, then we're... St Wait, what? So you're not here to steal the territory? Then we're sorry about attacking you. Does that mean we can stay? Um, 
call the director and ask how to handle it. You'll talk to the owner? We appreciate that, but he must be really annoyed at us. Are you sure? Okay, I'm up to speed now. If you stick to the exhibition area, I don't mind just if you stay. Really? Yeah, it's fine. And luckily, you two fit right in here. Thank you. Don't mention it. But we feel bad for just living in your place. We've really inconvenienced you. Tell us if there's anything we can do to help. Really? Would you be willing to help repair the museum? Once repairs get underway, this place should get uh, a lot more comfortable for you. We'd be glad to help. Then we have an agreement. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Thank you for resolving this case. Um, even or I've even reaped an ex unexpected benefit. I'm glad I chose you for the job. I'll definitely call you if anything else comes up. Goodbye for now. Hey, that was easy. How can you have a hint of my pain when you haven't extracted a hint of my pain yet? I feel like that's false advertising. Special class hacker. Oh yeah. Anybody over here good to go? Oh, you just need to get to the level now. Sweet. Sweet. Alrighty, Mira, what's going on? Oh, look at my face. Or look at that face. Might you be lost? I think so. Listen to a rumor in front of the CD shop on the second floor of Nakano Broadway. The fate you lost will be reignited. It all comes back to him. Oh, it looks like it's happening again. Uh, Kurimi in isn't at her detective agency in Nakano Broadway. The people who need her help have nowhere to turn. Do come again if you ever lose your way. If you say so. I sadly can't stand the taste of chocolate. Rip. Tastes like euphoria, you won't notice chocolate. Sugar, sugar cookies are absolutely fucking delicious. They are some of the best cookies around. I don't know what royal icing is, but I would assume that it is also delicious, so I would gladly take a sugar cookie with royal icing. Uh, lobby. A lobby. Okay, not gonna know. Not Alright, swing over here. Mentioned. Ooh, shiny. Sleuth memory. Ooh. Huh? Do you have business with the detective agency too? I don't think she's here. I don't know what to do. I've got a case for her, but she wasn't here yesterday either. It's about those Digimon things causing chaos everywhere. I'm looking for someone who can deal with them. A detective named Matayoshi suggested this place. You know Matayoshi? Leave it to me. So you know him too? But what exactly do you mean by leave it to me? Oh, you take cases too? It's an urgent matter, but I don't know uh, when she'll be back. Are you sure you can handle it? You specialize in Digimon cases? Then I would very much like your help. It's the icing that normally decorates the sugar cookies. Okay. Here's the deal. One sugar cookie, one fish, and your missing is to... What? Your missing is to mildly annoy... Oh, T in the stream or make him uh, say the secret word of the day. Well, there's a real easy way to make me say the secret word of the day, and that's just by typing it out, and I'll most likely read it. Because I tend to read everything out loud. So just pose a case on the bulletin board on Hudi's website, got it? I'll explain the detail when you take the case. Please accept it as soon as possible. Yes. Announcements. Ooh, I actually need to take a look at this. Do-do-do. Oh, really? You didn't notice? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Alright, what do you two chicks got going on? I haven't seen Jimmy Ken on the indie chart for a while. He used to be a regular in the top ten. I wonder what happened. Hmm, this poster. Huh? Jimmy Ken's taking a break? Does that mean there's no hope of a uh, comeback? He hasn't released any songs lately. Maybe he realized he's not as popular anymore. That pretty much means he's retired. Uh-oh. They just wanted snuggles? Well, too goddamn bad. They got in my way. 
I haven't seen Jimmy Kinn since he was defeated by Zaxxon. Looks like he's left the, the music business. Too bad, his songs are pretty good. Wait, was that it? Okay. Now we need to go all the way back to the hospital. Hey, what kind of people are your friends? Uh, random people. Bunch of random people. Central Hospital. Cure revenge for the baboos. Uh, was it this room? Nope. This room? Yep. Justice! New case is added. Uh, as hand for the lost demon. Oh fuck, that's a... That's a five star mission, and that's a four star mission. Okay, we're gonna save. Just to make sure that we don't forget to. Boop. Alrighty, let's take the four star mission first. Wait, do I have that listed in my thingamajig? You're the huge guy, aren't you? There's someone I want you to meet. I'll just get ready. I'm, I mean, I'll just go get him. Wait here. Oh, I, I think I put that in there when I started the original campaign. I don't think I put that in there when I started your guys'. I might, I might consider it, but I don't know. It's eh. It's back and forth. The client's just gone to the, uh, into the restroom? Well, the, the biggest thing with streaming it is finding something to put on the screen for people to watch. Because it's essentially just a podcast. I've been waiting over an hour now. He's taking so long. What's he doing? Oh, it's you again. Hey, hey, sorry about the wait. Your beautiful face. <laughs> did you get bored? Or did it build up the sense of anticipation? Is your heart racing? Jimmy Kenna has arrived. It's been a while, mob face boy. I heard you're, that you're actually a Zaxxon spy. Bah, I won't forgive you. No way, no how. Now I'll have my revenge. Revenge! Well, what, what are you doing? No, no, no. I don't obsess over the past. I'm not here to ha have it out with you. The case written on the board, you saw it, right? You know who put it up there, don't you? Come on, tell me. Could it be you? Correct answer. Give the boy a round of applause. The correct answer is poor old me, no longer able to go to Eden since Faye destroyed my account. Ever since then, the flames of my once passionate heart have been doused. The songwriting uh, fairies don't visit me anymore. I'm a shadow of my former self. I've been robbed of my energy. Even my once mighty Skull Marimon is more of a dull Marimon now. You, you've got to help me get my mojo back. Please cheer me up, even if it, you don't mean it. I never thought I'd see him like this. On Ruby, huh? Nice! That's cool, I like it. I know, I'll get uh, someone to help. I'll ask... Erica. Huh? You want me to help the cheer up Jimmy Ken? No way. I haven't got any time for that nonsense. Nah, if I ask Erica, Jimmy Ken will probably get even worse. Okay, well, I want to know what Faye's answer is. Jimmy Ken, you back for more from your pathetic sight. You're nothing but a filthy scumbag, human trash. I feel sick just being in the same room as you. Damn. Oh, you use the Valor system? Nice. I've seen a few things on the Valor system, but haven't really gotten the chance to check it out myself too deeply. Oh, there's someone you want me to meet? He might cheer me up? Uh, 
Oh, Kisuke, what's up? I didn't expect to see you here today. Whoa! Hey, my face boy, who's that? Huh? What should we get doing here? Is it really him? Rock and roll, baby lols. Open your eyes and get a good look at me. It's the real Jimmy Kim. In the flesh. What's going on, Kisuke? Huh? You want me to cheer him up? Hang on, why me? I don't know anything about music. I can't do that. Do your best. Is that all you can say? Fine. I don't know why you're so down in the dumps. Why don't you cheer up? I'm gonna head out already. Well, thanks for stopping in, Kroll. It's good to see ya. See? I told you I couldn't do it. Wouldn't it be better to ask someone who knows more about him? I'm sure he'll be happy if someone compliments him on his songs or something. Do, uh, what a character from the anime Claymore could do? He could twist his arm a bunch of times, like an inhuman amount of times, and roll beasts while holding his messenger would spin like a drill and tear through his foes? Damn! That's intense. I saw some Jimmy Kim fans hanging out in front of uh, Shibuya Records in Shibuya the other day. Try them! It was nothing, and you coming to me for help is really cool. Come to me anytime you ever need any advice. Don't just rely on Hughie all the time. You're talking to yourself, you. He's already gone. You said Jimmy Kim fans are hanging around uh, here somewhere. I'll take a look. Okay, where are they? They're not over there. Probably up this way somewhere. Whoop! Plus you can go berserk. <laughs> Jimmy Ken? Is it really you? No way! Oh my god, is it really Jimmy Ken? Can I have your <laughs> autograph, please? Uh, I love Ephemeral, Hummingbird. I'm a huge fan. Let me shake your hand. Jimmy Ken, you're so cool. You're the definition of charisma. Hey, cute demon kids, there's plenty of me to go around. Take turns. He just oozes charisma. Jimmy Ken, it's so awesome to meet you in person. What an amazing day. Thank you, thank you, I love you all. Not only is your demonic look so cool, but you're also one of the best hackers in Eden. I heard your demon is really strong. Really? I have a theory about the inspiration for uh, ephemeral, uh, ethereal hummingbird. Do you want to hear it? Ah, uh, actually, I can show you. That'll be quicker. There's not much space, but that doesn't matter. The little demon eyes that uh, made your heart tremble. It was this guy, right? It's Varoduruman. It's actually massive, but I adjusted the size and made it smaller so I could show it to you here. So, is my theory right? Well, I guess. Oh yeah, I knew it. This is so exciting. So that big, powerful bird was the inspiration. That's awesome. Can't believe you figured it out. Although... It's a holy bird Digimon, and I'm a demon. Jimmy Ken, could you have a battle with me? Er, um, I don't think that's a good idea. His Digimon doesn't look like it would stand a chance against mine, does it? Right, sorry demon kids, my throat feels a little sore today. Do you hear that? I think Jimmy Ken's gonna have a live battle. I can't believe this is the greatest day of my life. Rip. As <laughs> if he wants help. Don't want to get uh, getting depressed again, so soon after getting him back to his old self, better help him. Rip. Ah, yeah. uh, this battle shouldn't be too bad. Mind you, this is a four-star mission. Oh, it's asleep. We're good. God damn it, Dram. <laughs> Cross-counter! That was not too bad. This battle shouldn't be too terrible. Oh, now he's confused. Or panicked, I guess. That's the proper word for it. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll drop another skill on him. 
Probably don't quite need to, but we will anyways. Some good levels. It's just a combo emote. <laughs> You're as strong as everyone says. I've almost moved to tears. I saw on a poster that you're taking a break and still haven't decided if you'll ever make a comeback. I don't know why you made that decision, but some people are saying you're, you've retired. I'll never stop waiting for your comeback. I can't live without your songs. Right, your songs make every day feel special. Jimmy Ken, I'll never give up on you, no matter how long I have to wait. No, no, no. That ain't rock. Jimmy Ken? Retirement? Don't make me laugh. Come back undecided? As if. Every genius needs to take a break, right? I'm just in the middle of mine, okay? Don't worry yourselves over what that poster says, Demon Kids. No one can keep me out of the game. I, Jimmy Kim, am telling you right here, right now, I will be back. Oh, very, oh yeah, very soon. And I'll have a very sentimental, or I'll have a sentimental tune that'll make you swoon. Ah, I'm rhyming even now. I just can't turn off my genius. Just wait, boys and girls. I'm getting ready for my big comeback concert. It'll be a feast for the eyes and ears. I'll be reborn before you all. You picking up what I'm putting down? There you go, Jimmy Ken. There you go. <clears throat> what? You think I was lying about the inspiration? And the comeback concert? Who do you think I am? I'm Jimmy Ken. Although you're right, mob face boy. But you saw the looks on their faces. I couldn't break their little hearts. Don't look so surprised. It would have been too much a hassle to deny it. I'm not, it's not as if I'm afraid of being attacked by that Digimon again. I realize now. My place is the world of rock and roll, not that Eden place where wackos like Zaxxon and your lot waste so much time. I guess I'll attribute my awesome comeback to you. You should be grateful, and I'll be grateful to you. My comeback concert has to be a real spectacle. I've got to blow their minds. Bye for now. Huh? It looks like he dropped something. To my fan, Kisuke. Jimmy Ken's autograph. Maybe he's not so bad after all. Maybe. Eh, he seems like a good guy, just mis mis uh, misaligned. You should put it that way. Now, what is an e hummingbird full? That's the big question. E hummingbird full. Where are you at? Weekend's autograph. Uh, singer with tremendous indie appeal, Jimmy Ken's hit song. Okay, sure. Not sure what that's gonna do for me, but I'll take it. Alright, so I'm going to hop into the Digilab, touch up a few things, and I'm probably going to call her quits there. And then hopefully we'll be back sometime. Not 100% sure if I'll be able to or not, though. At least uh, over the next few days, I should say. Stream forever? Yeah, it's not possible. If it was, I would, though. But sadly, I don't make any money from this, so I do have to work. Okay, anybody ready? Uh, you do not need to digivolve to anyone else. You just need to make it to level 30. So all of those guys are good, and I don't think there's anyone really in here that needs... I agree. How about if I give you one fish? Sadly, no. That's not going to be able to do it. I've got a few things I need to take care of, so I can't be staying on. And anybody over here? Oh, we still got one more group. Unimon. Let's load that up. Let's load... What do we want to put it into? Let's put it into a Goonimon. Let's 
more than you came in with into this good deal. <laughs> you make fish profits. Yeah, sadly though, it's not going to be enough. Alrighty, so like I said, that's the end of for today, folks. Thank you for stopping in. It's been a good day chatting with all y'all. Been fun. Oh, sorry, stretching. Oh, but it's been fun getting back into Digimon. It's good to take a little break from Resident Evil. We'll probably be going back and forth between the two for the next little bit. As again, I still need to finish this game. Plus, there's the free DLC for Resident Evil 2 that came out a little while ago that I needed to take a look at. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, if depending on what happens with uh, some things I got going on tomorrow, I might be streaming this weekend. Uh, but that really depends. I'm not 100% sure yet. But we'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Anyways, again, thank you all for stopping in. It's good seeing you. Like always, make sure you, see, uh, you do your homework. See you later, folks.